brings up <laughs> a bit of dialogue in this game. Oh so my god. Alright. Hunter said he's finishing the Splatoon 3 storyline. Oh, okay. So he'll be in at some point. I texted him. And Gun goes, he said he's making tacos. And I refuse to believe oh, that that's true. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I seen... I, I seen... Cold's just projecting. <laughs> oh my god. Watch out. Poison damage. Oh, well then. It sounds like AI voice acting. Okay. Well, since, uh, you know, this is this is a little loud, I think. Uh, audio. Audio? Audio. Audio? Audio. Let's see. Where is my fucking shit at? Oh, no. I'm trying to find it, Dad. It's just a lot right now. No, 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 no. Sounds. Scroll down. I'm still not used to this Windows 11 shit. Yeah, I don't know what to make about that. Like, people were, you know, saying that, you know, that you should update to it, and then a lot of people say don't. So. I mean, you're gonna have to update it at some point. I guess for some people it's a matter of when I can over I should so that I don't have to pay for it. I didn't have to pay for this, so it was a free update. All I heard is that video games don't run good on it so far. That's all I know. Mm. Oh, what? oh no. Windows 11. No. Just <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> so. I think we were talking about this, because I totally forgot what case it was until Morgana pointed it out. Recipe. Recipe of a turnabout with the... Old man who wasted our fucking time at trial. Literally the entire stream was pointless. Oh yeah, that's right. The, the old man with the big old nose. But for some reason, we still got his testimony of when the incident occurred, I broke my vase at my seat. I swear to God, that's good. Like that's gonna be how we get the guy, isn't it? <sighs> That's gonna be like the key piece of wind in it. Oh yeah, there was a phony me. Oh yeah, and he uh, looked like a character you'd see in Yakuza. Um, and uh, the crazy, not... the crazy chef, who you have to pay like twenty bucks for food that's not edible. And he likes to steal things, and he stole the Magatama. Whoopsie. Maybe uh, I should go an episode of Kitchen Nightmares. My help you. I'm not pronouncing that. Because it's uh, too worrisome. Okay. And I don't want to get banned. I don't want to get banned. I don't want Scott to get banned either. No. If y'all watch Sailor Moon, it's perfectly normal. Okay, I think we are ready. Uh, we? Yeah, cause Phantom- I mean, let me- let me rewind. Hunter said he's doing Splatoon 3 storyline. What a bitch. So, we're gonna do stuff without him for a while. I'm not waiting what for What an utter complete bitch kid. He is. Okay. So, let me check all this evidence again. It's been a hot minute. And we streamed this last week, right? Yep. Yeah, it feels like it's, it's been, been longer long than week. that. We really haven't streamed much this week, so... I'm so mad about that, too. Yeah, I mean, it, things happen. Nothing you can really do about it. It's not your fault. Well, it's been going well for almost an hour, so I'm gonna knock on any form of what I have and pray things work out, okay? Sounds like a plan. Alright. So how do you think the trial went this morning? How do you think it went? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you know, the guy wasted our fucking time. It gotta be crazy in there. I just wonder if that killed our chances. Yeah, I guess it did get out of hand. Mr. Kudo's testimony did nothing to help us. Did nothing to help anybody. 
It was a waste of time. Plus, now we don't even know the identity of the waitress who laced the coffee. All we know is what old Mr. Kudo saw, the apron straps and the ribbon. And that victim was wearing an earpiece when his eardrum was ruptured. Hi, oh, Gon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Talk about a terrifying case of contradiction... Contradictionitis. What the fu- What? Time to play doctor and find ourselves a cure then, huh? Yeah! We've got to find one for Maggie or she's- Oh, right. The person was Maggie. Right. Yeah, I said that. The waitress. Yeah, but I didn't re remember that it was Maggie. I said X cop that was a bird thing. No, I don't think I was here when you were talking about it. That might be possible. I went upstairs to go get my thing. Now I guess Maggie's still in questioning. But but we've got questions to ask her too! Maggie! Maggie! Keep it down, Maya. This isn't a playground, you know. Alright, well, that's useless. You five. <laughs> yes, she's five. <laughs> Looks like Gumchi's not here. Never mind that. What's going on? It feels different in here some- Never mind that shit. Here comes Mongo. <sighs> what the fuck? That sounds foreboding. Uh... No, Gun's right. He's, he is making tacos. <laughs> Oh, you're fucked! <laughs> Hunter's not gonna be here tonight! Nope, Hunter's not gonna be here tonight, boys! Well then, alright. Good thing I didn't wait for him. <laughs> wait, what? He's making tacos. Okay. The last time he made tacos, it literally took him like three hours, three to four hours to make tacos. Wait, what the fuck is he bringing the tacos to hell? Is he making the shells himself? There you go, stream chat. Um, and that's Gun Angel time, so that's actually, uh, ten minutes ago. Five, five, six minutes ago. Oh boy, needs to stop making fucking tacos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tacos are more important than crime. You think? Yeah, everyone seems to be on edge. What are you doing? Calling the officers for the briefing, quick! Can't you shut down the station server? What the fuck? Chief, quit playing on the internet! What? But my email pen pal, blah blah blah. What? Thirteen thirty-seven. Lead, lead, lead. Asian princess. That's probably Asian fine. Princess. Is that what that is? Oh, oh my god! Is this like Yahoo ICQ days? Yes. No, this is fucking crazy. Save it for later. I'm turning it off now. No, my princess. Everyone. Everyone's keeping busy in here, huh? Keeping busy? More like panicking, if you ask me. Something's going on. Something big. It seems like all their stuff's been, uh... I guess they're being... D d hacked? This must be the chief of detectives here. He looks lost now that the power to his computer has been cut. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to write her a real letter instead of an email. Alternatively, right. you can write up some reports. Just a suggestion. Dear Princess, how are you? I'm okay. <laughs> how was the show last night? Jesus Christ. Wow, what an awesome job. Maybe I should send in my resume and become shit. <laughs> Honestly, Maya, you could probably, you could probably do, do a better job. Could probably do it. These are detectives' desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I expected. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time in their desks. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get an answer out of this. Fucking bird. I'm just gonna assume that their that their uh that their dad's son is getting hacked or some shit. Can I go here? No, we're that's gonna go me. to Trey Bien now. This is the Melissa virus. Oh, Omega, no, no, that's cursed. Why? Oh God. Who is this? Is Phantom, right? I don't know if he's here or not. Uh, what me? He's, I'm fucking right here. I think. Empty I think as probably... usual. Yeah, and it's lunchtime too. I don't that's know who it. this is. Uh, that's um, it. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, come on, come on. Then, hey, that sounds like. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, not just call an eight, pal. Come on, I know you can. Oh my God! Fucking gumshoe jump fucking scare. Gumshoe jump scares. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, great start. He's getting really worked up about something. No, that's the wrong number. I guess he's doing a lottery. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, looks like an eight would have netted me five bucks anyway. What a rip off. Is that how he gets his money, the lotto? <laughs> He's desperate, man. What's the problem, Detective Gumshoe? Huh? No, it's you, Jesus! Don't, don't jump scare me like that. Because it it it, it gets uh, like a white flash, and it freaks me the fuck out every time. The last I was I was really happy the one time it didn't. <laughs> well, yeah, I was uh, <laughs> I was uh, just uh, uh, I was just listening to the radio, pal. <laughs> to the radio? Hey, Detective Gumshoe's having lunch here. He is, and he's having the twin tea set. <laughs> Uh, well, what can I say? Wasn't he the one who also agreed me that it wasn't edible? And he's here eating it? Yeah. What the fuck? It's 20 bucks for in inedible food! Why would you do that? You're better off having fucking ramen, bud. This is enough. Huh? How am I supposed to look Maggie in the eye now, pal? <laughs> you really drove her into a corner, you know. You always blow apart my testimony! Why, of all days, didn't you do it today? Oh, that was also today? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I know, it was- I didn't forget, but- So you do an edible stream sometime? Oh my god. Sorry, there- there just weren't any holes in it, for once. Yeah, what happened? Usually your testimonies are like Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese? Oh my god. What do you have preferred crumbly like aged parmesan? Wow. Anyway, this case has already been ruled on. There shouldn't be any holes left to find. That's also true. Also, I keep doing that. So, did Maggie say anything to you? Oh. About me, I mean? That's right. She said, uh, that, that he wasn't... <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, she's not too bad. Well, um, how did she put it again? Oh. I can't believe Detective Gumshoe. I hate him, sir. I mean it. I don't ever want to see him again. Something Why like that. I didn't tell him that. What? But please, Detective Gumshoe, I didn't mean. What's happening? He's banging his head against the wall, Nick. Oh man, poor Gumshoe. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> So, did you like the twin tea set? I've never paid that much money for lunch before. I was so nervous. My hands were shaking. So, how did it taste? Well, uh... 20 bucks, I guess. I don't know how to describe it, really. It was, uh, delicate. Your stomach being delicate after eating it? <laughs> delicate? You mean you liked it? It didn't taste bad to you? Oh no. What's the matter with him? Looks like he's thinking. THINKING?! Wasn't he the one who told us that it was inedible? Uh... When we went to the not. court... When we went to the, um... I forgot, actually. Maybe it would wait, well maybe no, that was I, Godot. No, Godot was saying the coffee was shit. Yeah, no, I know that Godot said that the coffee was thing, but I remember we went to Criminal Affairs and we were talking about it because we showed him the twin T image set thing, whatever. I completely forgot. I don't actually know. Well, now it's making me second guess it. That's it! I've been trying to think of the right word to describe the taste! And I just realized! It's bad! That's it! It tasted bad. Oh well, that was we all fucking tried thinking for for nothing. It was it is just bad. Uh. It's just kind of hard to admit to yourself when you paid twenty bucks for it, you know. You know that's yeah. a mood. That's a mood. That's, a mood. that's a fucking that's mood. mood. That's how I feel when I. That's how I feel when I. That's how I feel when I play certain games. Like no, Metal Gear Survive isn't that bad. That's that's you like know. wanting to spend twenty bucks on a fucking bloomin' onion chicken breast. It's just bad. Don't do some. Don't do this. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do this. Now I got it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Maybe he should have found out about the price after he had finished eating. 
Hey, Nick, maybe that's why Glenn L. came here. Maybe he heard about the Super Fierce Twin Tea set. If by fierce you mean fearsome. Speaking of Glenn Elk, that reminds me. We still hardly know anything about the guy. Why don't we ask Detective Gumshoe what he knows, seeing as he's here? The radio. Come on, Gumshoe. So what were you so what were you all excited about earlier? Oh. That's right, you said you were listening to the radio or something. Oh, that! Uh, that was nothing! <laughs> I wasn't excited! Right. Come on, Detective Gumshoe, you can tell it all me. What were you listening to? Nothing, really! It was just the, um, uh, the, the daily exercise show. Did they have them back then? No. Oh. He has a Cyclock! What? Gums he has you? one. With a sidewalk? Ha ha ha! This lunch special lobster sure is great! Then why aren't there tears in your eyes? Do I have a ticket? I do have a ticket. Yes. I yes, think I'm do. I think I'm gonna try it. Yeah, that's probably it. That's what that piece of evidence is for. <laughs> Fucking gumshoes and cyclops. Alright, gumshoe, tell me the truth. What were you listening to? No way, pal. Now that you made a big thing out of it, I'm not gonna tell you. Oh come on! We'll see about that, pal. Considering all the noise you were making while you were listening, it's pretty clear what kind of radio program it was. I'd say it was related to... this. Yeah! I'm right, aren't I? You were listening to the lottery results, weren't you? You thought you tried to win big, just like Glen Elg did. It's, uh... It's like you could see right through me! Huh? I've cracked him already? See, pal, that's why I said it was nothing! Don't tell me that actually gives you health. Yes. No, it doesn't. Oh, that's it, unfortunate. Well, I don't know. I don't know how much health I have, actually. You might be at full health. It's a new day. No. No, I would get it through the, um... Whatever I lost, I would get through the, uh, Cyclops stuff. Oh. I'm usually pretty lucky, so I figured I'd give it a try. It might be full regardless, though. You're... What's with everyone in the lottery? I'm not lucky, Gumshoe. So, how did it go? I won 50 cents. See, look, he won something. And how much did the lottery ticket cost? Probably two dollars. It'd be better to win nothing at all than have a lousy buck! I was so mad! Yeah, I know the feeling. Bought the same kind of ticket as Mr. Elg, see? And they've got this special radio show where they announce the winning numbers. They even do the drawings live on the air. It's intense, pal. <sighs> I bet that's what Mr. Elg was listening to on the day he was killed. Yeah, what time is it now? Uh, it's, it's just after 1.30. And are the lottery results always broadcast at the same time? Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Time of death between 1:30 and 2:30. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I got this flyer when I bought the ticket. Now is that that? Yep. Experience the most thrilling 10 minutes of your life every Monday. Well then. Millionaire Radio. That sounds cool. I want to try it, Nick. Then buy a ticket, Maya, with your own money. Uh, present Glenn Elg. This guy was a real programming genius. They called him the walking computer at the place where he worked. I mean, he knew all kinds of things like HTML. <laughs> what happens when he crashes, though? Does he just stop moving all of a sudden? Uh, he wasn't literally a computer, Maya. Anyway, there's nothing... Maggie and the victim. Let me turn you up just a smidgen. There we go. 
Yeah, that's what we found out yesterday, too. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, don't you have any information that's a bit more fun? Fun? I, uh, oh, I know! So have you paid a visit to where Mr. Elk worked yet? You might as well. Sorry that the thing lagged on me there for a sec. Your excuses. His workplace? Where's that? A computer firm called Blue Screens Inc. Or something like that. Blue Screens Inc. Oh my god. What a fucking name. Jesus Christ. Sounds like a real stable company. <laughs> please. <laughs> fucking please. <laughs> this could be fun, Nick. Let's go. Computers aren't really my thing, Maya. We'll be fine. I know all about that high tech stuff. I wonder about that. It's just around the corner from this joint. You should take a look. A computer firm called Blue Screens Inc., huh? Alright. Oh, it's trustworthy. That oh, was, yeah! If I, no, I'm not going there. Fuck that. Check it. What, what is the this? hell? What is this? What is... It, um, look at these fucking nerds. Did we just go into the uh, Institute from Fallout 4? Uh, I'm sorry. Is this a bunker? <laughs> Is this is no. this just a bunker with servers you in know, it? <laughs> Maya, look at them Maya, towers. Maya might have to be careful. These might this might be the first woman they've seen in almost a decade. Wow, this place is so high tech. Why is there why is that a mess? Is that Glen Elk's desk? You can almost smell the electricity in the air. And the urine. It is a computer firm, Maya. They can't work without electricity, you know. Like you. Oh no! That's what the fuck? Her. What is? What is this? Right? Who's this? Who's this cyber? Oh what um, hello. I'm sorry. Access is restricted to authorized personnel only. What the fuck? My name is not Cortana. Oh, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> this is a computer programming laboratory. There are far too many trade secrets that could be leaked. Wow! What see? <laughs> Maya. Maya! What the fuck did I just say, bitch? <laughs> uh, everything you see here is classified. No information can leave this building. Understood. Who is this woman? She's like a robot from some kind of whacked educational show. I'm is not a robot. I'm not a robot. My name is Cortana. I'm Lisa Basil. Lisa Basil. Lisa Basil. I don't, Lisa Basil. I don't know. I'm the company director. Oh. I don't know the pun on the on her name, so I'm just gonna Diesel accept it. Type of sp spice, spice? Director? Sh she's human? She seems more like a ghost in a ghost in a oh! show. Oh! 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 That hurt. Because she has the fucking bolt. She has the haircut too. She's more like a ghost in a shell. I fucking hate this game. Oh, come on! <laughs> I fucking hate this game. Fucking really? Yeah. yeah. This is some fucking bullshit. My name is Makoto Kusanagi. Speaking of ghost in shells, really good. My name is Makoto Kusanagi. And that thing over her eye, isn't that the same device as Glen Elks? That's a DMH, right? Nice try, but it's the other way around, Maya. It's an HMD. Lisa Bays. It's a palindrome! What do you mean it's a pal- wait. Oh, what? it is! Because- Glen Elk is too! Oh, Lisa Basil. Lisa and then you say people. it's- I fucking- All of my programmers here at Blue Screen Sinks are supplied with- Why? HMDs. Because Glen Elg is also a palindrome too. So everyone's name here is a palindrome? Jesus Christ. Then do you write programs too? No, I just enjoy- where- Right. Okay. We need to go. <laughs> <laughs> I need to leave. If it didn't take forever to do, I'd use that feature where you can make Alexa say anything. You just that would be her voice. Oh my god, that be, is there is a I know there's a VTuber that does a voice to a friend told me that does that does voice to text text to speech thing. So when they're talking, it sounds like a text to speech. Yeah, Zentria. Yeah. I don't. I would. I would set it up, but I don't know how to. They are pretty cool. I wouldn't mind one. God, I don't want to talk to her. So, what exactly is this firm's business? 
I will try to simplify it so that you can understand. Yeah, I don't fucking remember the shit either. We, we analyze the data management that is required by certain branches of industry. Analyze data management required by certain... And then deliver optimum operating systems and source level components to them. I... They update their server? They're... Sure. Yeah, no, I don't... I, <laughs> you lost me on the corner of analyze and manage... <laughs> It doesn't matter. They they analyze stuff. You got that much, right? That the software produced is distributed on CDs. Wow. CDs? Yes. CDs nuts. Bam! Bam! Oh yes, compact disc, digital optical storage media. Of course, CDs are used for software as well as music. It is, a small, it is a small firm, but all of my employees are first-class programmers. Let's ask one of them what they are doing. Oh, oh, oh my god! Well, Excuse me, what are you working on right now? I'm That's researching cool. the impact of time slight oh. on the lens of access to share global variables, obviously. Most grammar structures have been influenced in response time and the variables of the consumer is global variables. No Okay. Well, he sets words. This is the third <laughs> thing that we are involved in. Oh, God. Did you good people follow all of that? D totally not. Y yeah? Your blank smile just said otherwise, Maya. We're gonna have to fucking talk They may her. be distributing their data on CDs now, but Blue Screens Inc. is working on something to replace CDs called the Blue Ray. <laughs> oh my god. People don't no, even use no them either thing. anymore. One of our programmers... It's, it's, it's actually HD DVD. One of our programmers... <laughs> one of our programmers are working on something they call NFTs. No. They, they say it's gonna be a hit one day. No! You know about what happened, right, Miss Basil? You mean about Glenn being poisoned? Yes, I know. It's terrible. Can you tell us anything that might be helpful? I don't think so. A police officer was here earlier, too. But I couldn't tell him anything either, because... The, wait the waitress who committed the crime has nothing to do with Blue Screens Incorporated. Trademark. How about Mr. Elk's desk? Have you cleared it out already? <clears throat> no, not yet. It's this one right in front of you. Yeah, look, it's, it's a mess at the bottom here. If there's anything that might be useful to you, you are welcome to take it. Look at his fucking horse calendar. I know, like... Oh, because he's into gambling and shit, probably. That's yeah. what that's for. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even think about that until just now. They might be laughing at them. They, they, they probably get paid pretty damn well, though, to be honest. I guess there might be a clue here somewhere. A clue! A clue! <laughs> we, we paid them in Bitcoin. That would actually, I mean... Bitcoin well, these okay. have to be, like, lotto tickets or, like, things from the, um... Did, did I say Bitcoin? I meant, I meant Dogecoin. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Wow, look at this mess! Looks like they're all betting tickets. Yep. What kind of betting tickets? For betting on which horse will win a given race. They're horse racing I tickets. Like Agumon. Mm -hmm. Agumon. Agumon! Oh wow, his drawers are stuffed full of these. Looks like they're all losing tickets though. Horse racing betting tickets found in Glen Elk's. Oh, 500 of them! I didn't even notice that! Jesus! Uh, this this many tickets will give you. A problem. What, a buck down That's at the fun. recycling yeah. center? But I didn't know you were so hard up that you try profit from the dead, Nick. I'm just taking them as evidence, Maya. I didn't even notice this. That's all. Hard. That's all tickets. Of, uh, that's a lot of uh, tickets. What the fuck? Oh, was he sleeping at the fucking desk? Looks like yeah. it. Well, he worked at this type of. Co I assume everyone here does. We do not give out bonus pay. Wow, look at this desk, Nick. What a mess. Looks pretty average to me. But you can't get any work done with everything all over- <laughs> You'd be surprised, Maya. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Real whiz kids can work under any condition, you know? Hmm. Just trying to hint that I should tidy my desk more. I'll clean what my desk when Maya? Maya stops asking silly questions. No hurry, then. Whoop. Hey, this calendar. 
What about it? This is If this is another hint about tidying, you can forget it. Someone sparked December 3rd in red pen. Doesn't say what day. When was this? I don't know. December 3rd. That's the day Mr. Elg was murdered. No! Is there anything else? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, um, it says meet with the tiger. Oh. The tiger? Oh. On December 3rd, the day of the incident, there was a note. I see. I rem Oh, God. Okay, it makes sense what it is now. Well, you know who it is. I don't want to talk to these people. Hunter? <laughs> That's not Hunter. <laughs> I know. Hey, look, Nick. It's a supercomputer. It looks like it's really smart and wise. <laughs> really? I knew it was fancy. Computers are only as smart as the humans who use them, Maya. That explains why we don't use the computer in our office. Wow. You work there too, Maya. Yeah, but at least I'm... Please, don't argue about something so trivial. Otherwise, the computer will laugh at me. What? What? <laughs> what? Hey, yo. What? I'm sorry? She said she'd laugh at us, Nick. She's a human, Maya, not a computer! What the fuck? That was strange. He's really pounding that keyboard, isn't he? Wow, Ooh, I bet that's where the pro and programmer comes from, huh? I guess I shouldn't be yeah. resting on my laurels. Gotta expand my skill set and all that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I could become old CD's apprentice. Um, and what about your spirit medium training? Alright, Maya, I'm gonna put you through typing class so you know exactly where to put your fingers on a keyboard so you can learn it and then never use it again, okay? <laughs> those, those pillars almost look like they're moving. It's kind of unsettling. Nah, they just look a bit twisted or warped or whatever word I'm looking for. This office was designed with a futuristic feel in mind. No shit. Futuristic? Oh. Yes. Meow. 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 He died. Oh, God. Are you dead? As long as it's not me. Alright. Yeah, as long as it's not you. Yes. <laughs> we tried to imagine what things might look like in the future when we designed it. It helps to soothe and calm the soul. I don't think the moving around like that is soothing. On second thought, I agree with you, Nick. This place is a little... is really unsettling. That's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm leaving. Wait. Oh, I'm out of here. Okay, we don't... <laughs> do, we need, do we have anything, like, profiles to present or anything? I mean, we can show Glen Elg. I don't know what she's going to tell us. How old is she? Oh, don't know. Absolutely oh, not no. a robot. Absolutely not a robot. Oh, my God. Um, about Mr. Elg. He was a top programmer. I would even say he was a genius. But I he might did be being weird. From... Oh, yeah, there you are. Hey, what's Hello. up? But he did suffer from one or two bugs in his personality. Yes, I refer to a bugs. I'm not a robot! Oh? Like what? He was a bit of a loser. Perhaps that would be the best way to describe it. That's what he got. That's what got him into trouble. What's the matter? He was a top programmer. I would even say he was a genius. But he was really no trouble at all. A model employee. Hey, wait a minute. Just now you said something about him being in trouble. You've got to find out what this trouble was yeah, all exactly. All I can do is imagine her talking like uh, GLaDOS. <laughs> God. This was a trial. Oh, here he is. <laughs> um, about Mr. Elk. Was he in some kind of trouble? I'm sorry. Why would you think that? Uh, I thought you said something about it just now. 
you said he got himself into trouble because he was a bit of a loser? Ah! Oh no! Are you kidding me? Three Cyclops. Three, Three of them. I guess Mr. Hooray! Oak is like every other man with his own pile of secrets. Alright, I can't do it now. Because I just remembered what his problem was. But I don't He's think I have gambler? everything. Not only that, but... Um, oh, I guess you, yeah, yeah. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Do we yeah. have it here? No. Uh, here it is. Yep. Isn't that? Oh, where do I go? Man, I don't want to talk to this old man. Might have to, though. He wasted the whole trial yesterday. Oh no, never mind. Tiger Boy's here. Oh. Hmm, I don't see any sign of Mr. Kudo, do you? Maybe he went to buy another ton of bird seeds. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't be here anyway, at least not for now. Besides, any more seeds today and I'm liable to turn into a real phoenix. Alright. Okay, he's not here. Nobody here. Hey, check this out! I wouldn't Look get too close to that is. if I were you, otherwise you might be in for a shock. My phony must be lurking someplace nearby. Just imagine a tiger loose in the city. Oh my. Meanwhile, the real phoenix is like an abandoned chick lost in a vast urban jungle. <laughs> huh? Don't worry, someday you'll grow up and become a ferocious tiger too. Don't lose hope. Get Why is she trying to pep talk on. me into becoming my phony? That's it. She's tired of you being a beta male, Nick. Oh, oh my god. What do I do to summon this Are fucking... you gonna turn stigma or not? Oh my god. No. No! Anything here? Maybe something here? Hey, no. pal, bye, pal! Bye. Maybe we'll find out. Nope. Fucking, I guess nobody. I guess we're done. No, we can go into the kitchen. Maybe something's there. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Huh? Mr. Armstrong's talking to someone. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. I'll be back next month. Oh, natural element! I will be waiting for you! If you haven't got it by then, I'm afraid it might get a little... hot around here. Oh no. No! I have everything ready, I promise! I love fire, you know. I love the way it crackles. Arson! <laughs> Arson! No, 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 no! Stop it! I'm back! <laughs> Then don't let me down. I'll be watching you. Nice look! This is not necessary! You can trust me, mademoiselle! Talk to anyone, and I'll drive a knife right through your heart. He seems oh, nice. Oh, um, you don't have to worry! You, you know, you work far too much! Uh, uh, maybe this will help you relax! It is a lot of love sandalwood! I do love raw meat from time to time. <laughs> ah! I'll be oh, taking my fight. leave. Goodbye for now. I'm gonna blow up your place later. Oh, I, have no shivers. I love arson. Arson, arson. A rot must rub cinema oil all over my body before it becomes nervous. Ah, so you're gonna, so you can be lit on fire. Nice. <laughs> Kindling. No, I do not want to be bastard. <laughs> oh, wee wee wee, all the fields full. Oh God, he's rubbing his <laughs> Oh my God. Oh yes, <laughs> Stop it. 
Pain Packer. Pain Packer. Oh la la. Excusez-moi, Nisho. My eyes, my eyes! <laughs> Could you get to my back? <laughs> your eyes. If you have trouble with your eyes, you need the oil of Zandalu. This isn't just the leftovers of what you were. Oh, isn't this just the leftovers of what you were just using? No, I don't want to talk to him. Yeah. Whoa. What we have a chipmunk here. What the hell was that? Was that? Someone's what a chipmunk. Was that? Was that? I know that the Hunter's making tacos right now, but that actually sounded like Donald Duck. <laughs> Don't, y you don't exactly have many customers, do you, Armstrong? You're right, monsieur. But perhaps that is the perfect time for your development, no? That way, I can give you that endeavor to the Brinjon and cook for you la dish I'm Putting on a brave face, huh? That's what girls do, Nick. But you're right. Business is very difficult these days. Perhaps the name is the problem. People don't understand it. They think it is try. I mean, isn't that how that's pronounced? <clears throat> I just want the people to think that my restaurant was exclusive. But they think you just serve fast food on cheap plastic trays? Nick, that's the kind of thing that can make a girl cry. Have you forgotten that Mr. Armstrong is a man, Maya? Hey. <laughs> There we go. But that is restaurant is my life. It is everything to me. I will defend it to the finale. No one will tackle for me. So, who was that woman you were just talking to? Oh, la la. You, you saw that. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Sorry. So, who was she? She looked so polite and graceful. My polite. God. Okay. <clears throat> Good night! Crossfit! And she likes raw meat and fires! Maya. I'll be back next month. Uh, natural meant I will be waiting for you. If you haven't got it by then, I'm afraid it might get a little hot around here. Mom! I have nothing got the app of it! Now that I think about it... Hey, Maya, I think it's pretty clear what kind of conversation they were having. You think so? Well, then let's show them that piece of evidence and see what happens. Uh... This here. <clears throat> so long as that paper exists, I am but a delightful angel with a broken wing. An angel, huh? Doesn't bode well when you think about it. <clears throat> Hey! She kept harassing me month after month! In the end, I had to give in. I agreed to have them. Help him? Pardon. With what? Man, beyond sure. If I did not owe them the money, I would have refused. But my hands were tied! <sighs> Literally. Please, what did you agree to help them with? <clears throat> Man, I, I could not say. If I tell you that woman, she will slice me up and eat me with their salad garnish. Oh my god. Ew, I hope he doesn't mean that he'll literally be sliced up and served with garnish. I'm gonna guess that woman has something to do with your loan contract, right? Ah! Please, Mr. Armstrong, tell us about that woman. Oh, I think we got a new conversation piece. Yes. The woman who was here earlier, I take it that she's, uh... Why is it to come to this? What a tragedy! Suddenly I find myself so deep in the debt. It is a sign of the bad, bad world we live in, huh? No, I say it's more of a sign of the bad, bad culinary skills. The woman who is here, the scary woman, he is from the old loan office. Loan office? Is that where you borrowed half a mil from? Oui, Linda, it is called. 
Catchy name. Just hearing it makes me want to borrow some money. Yes, you must not borrow from them. If you must, no more than ten dollars. Ten dollars? Sounds like your whole monthly s s stipend, Maya. Hey, I get a bit more than that, thank you very much. So, Tender Lender is the loan office you borrowed half a mil from? I wonder if they got anything to do with this ki- I wonder, hmm? I wonder, Maya. I mean, the guy was spending 500 plus lotto tickets at a fucking horse race. I am a weak woman. When I am upset, I have to buy something nice to cheer me up. Oh, I think that's anybody, though. That's such a mood. Like the other day, I bought myself a new uh, Game Boy Advance. Nice. Thanks to him uh, loaning me the money, I have to pay back half a million dollars now! I am like his slave! I have done everything that he tells me! Um, who's this he? The tiger. The tiger? Me? He is the manager of the Linda Linda. The terrifying man. The big city mobster. And he shouts at me. My knees are trembling. And his voice is ringing in my ears for three days. As soon as I hear the noise of the battered old scooter, he rides. I start to cry. <laughs> A big city monster who has a battered old scooter? Um, does this guy resemble me by, the, by any chance? <clears throat> oh, no, 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 no! This man is a presence! A most formidable personality! Although, we do have spocky hair, just like you. There is a resemblance, I suppose. Hmm. Sounds like this loan office is worth checking out after all. If you want to visit the Tinder Linda, it is just beyond the Vatiman Square. Hey, Nick. If you need money, I can loan you some. As long as it's less than $3. Three dollars? Uh, thanks for the offer. Just beyond Vitamin Square, huh? Mari. Uh, très bien. Oh, into... oh, well then. Well, I'm gonna head back to the pre cell now. That took way too long for you to eat that fucking food that you, uh, well, probably he had to force himself to eat it after spending $20 probably... on it. I had to take bite by bite. He had to cry every bite he took. <laughs> yes. We've got a big meeting starting in a bit. Oh, oh, maybe we'll get info on what's going on at the precinct. About Maggie's case, you mean? No, that's pretty much wrapped up now. No. There's another big case going down at the moment, so she's been pushed aside. I'm assuming it has something to do with maybe being hacked or some shit. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Okay, we're not going to know. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's yeah, later we, then. We pretty much know that's what's up, though. Yeah, it looks like the... Oh. Uh, hi. Uh, forget something? Uh, you better get going, detective, or you'll be late. Mm, come on. Quickly. Actually... I, um, I kind of got a favor to ask. <laughs> it's a big one. Okay, a, f a, a favor? Yeah, it's for um uh, Maggie, actually. Oh, no. I was kind of hoping you'd give this to her for me. Aw. What is it? It's a lunchbox. I got up early so I could make it. He actually had money to make Aww. stuff? What a no, boy. No, there, there, there can't be any sausages, but he tried. I've been real worried about her. She looked like she'd lost a lot of weight. Detective Gumshoe. How many weenies are in here? There's not a person on Earth that could eat... I, I beg to differ, Maya. I, I think you would. Differ, Maya. <laughs> I think you would. You think? I love weenies. <laughs> 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 Detective Gumshoe 2022. I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> you said that with a straight face, you. didn't you? <laughs> I did. That's so we have proof that Faith is weenies. I love weenies. <laughs> I gotta get enough of that tender juiciness. Out of context moment right there. Oh, God. 
<laughs> so will you give it to her? It took me ages to make, so please say what you will, pal. It took you ages to make? Man, he's up there with Hunter's Tacos. <laughs> Just... Tacos, I can't exactly <laughs> say no, can <laughs> I? A tenderly handmade lunch fills the stomach with love and plenty of weenies. <laughs> and plenty of weenies. <laughs> Maybe I'll eat it myself if I get hungry. I can see that we need Hot Junior then. Huh? Don't forget, okay? I'm counting on you to give that to Maggie. Watch Maggie not eat it. <laughs> Turns out she's a vegetarian. He's finally gone. <laughs> Let's see. Can we talk to her before we go to... Nope. Okay. Yeah, let's... Nope. Nope. Alright. Trabian. And then... Vitamin, squ Vitamin Square. And then Tender Lender. Oh, boy. You might want to restart the stream real quick, because it's lagging out yep. just a little bit. Sure thing, Dad. Excuse me, Tom. The whole girl's a motherful. Oh, he looks that good. Thank you. Yeah, I think the Wi-Fi kind of messes up a lot, a lot yeah, more. That's Come you can't af No! This place gives off a really strange vibe, doesn't- There's a lot of shit went through compromise. I see he got that <laughs> desk on sale from Mar-a-Lago. Uh, looks like the tiger <laughs> isn't in his lair. And that is, as they say, a very good thing. Welcome. Gah! Talk about a creepy voice. It makes your soul want to shrivel up and die! <clears throat> Oh, there's an ashtray on the floor. You're here to discuss alone? N no, not exactly. The manager is away at the moment. Wait quietly, please. And she vanishes. My name is Wednesday Adams. <laughs> She's gone, just like that. Now I guess we'll just have to come back another time. But this is the perfect opportunity, Nick. This place reeks of sus! Let's take a look around, okay? <laughs> reeks of sus? Reeks of sus! She said suspicion, but it, it might as well just be sus. It's God always dang you, Sky. You think it'd be okay? Of if course! You don't hear, you immediately clip it like a sus. Oh. oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Coffee. Ah! Scared her too. I'll leave it here for you to enjoy. Quietly. I wouldn't drink it. Yes, thank you. Do not touch the desk, please. Somebody starts in our tank is in the middle of a fucking cutscene. Nick, <laughs> let's g g get out of here. Now she wants to get out of here. You know, I will admit, for a loan shark's office, that is a surprisingly uh, progressive motto up top. Win through compromise. compromise. As in, if you don't compromise, I'll break your kneecap. Yeah. I guess that's also applicable. Oh no, someone's dropped the ashtray on the floor. That's gonna be a nightmare. Yeah. We're on case. Oh my god, Omega. Right? Three? Wait. Yeah, four, I think. Four? I yeah. Wait, what was three then? The, uh, no, Ace Detective. Case, right? No, the third what one was Ace Detective, wasn't it? What was oh, the second one three. then? Case uh, one was the flashback, and what was wasn't case two the one with the thievery? Oh, maybe it is case three. No, I'm not. Now I have to double check. Y'all making me? I'll, I'll I'll look it up. I'll look it, it up. Was, okay, it you was, keep the playing. first case was a flashback. The second case was mask to mask, which was last. It? Oh yeah, okay. It is case three. Nero said it. Okay, but I think it was case not four. Not a lot of people <clears throat> like this case. Oh no, oh no, I'm sorry. Blue. Case four is, is another one that, that we're doing after. That's right, because there's... I know there was five cases in here. Okay, I, I remember now. Yeah, and it's all over the rug and everything. I accidentally knocked over a really big space heater once. Cleaning it up was such a pain. Dude, it was one what? of those super antiques where you have to burn a ton of charcoal. How does she manage oh. to knock over one of those? Aren't they supposed to be super heavy? Like <clears throat> oh, hey! There's a book of matches here, too! Très bien. Très bien? Matches, huh? Places don't give out those much nowadays. Hey, wait a second! What is it? Look what's printed on its cover. It says Très bien. Matches used for advertising found lying in Tender Lender. These matches could come in handy. We might be able to use them. The pilot light for the <clears throat> office boiler keeps going out. Swing and a miss, Maya. Swing and a miss. 
Hey, yo. But anyone can wear, even me and Edge wear. <laughs> That's true, though. There's a CD player on the desk, but the desk is so loud, it's a wonder you can... But the desk is so loud, it's a... I mean, I get it, but Phoenix, that just sounds really weird. The lid's open. I wonder what kind of music the tiger is into. Have you finished the coffee? Duck! Another jump scare. Yes, yeah, thanks. It was lovely. So, you drank it all? Congrats. <laughs> You'll die in seven days. Wait, what? Uh, if you touch anything else that doesn't belong to you, there's always another cup. What? Th th that coffee was laced with something. I'm almost sure of it. Oh, Nick, my stomach, it's killing me. Please. Oh, wait. Maybe it was just a burger I keep for breakfast? God damn it, Maya! <clears throat> what? Don't eat a breakfast burger. Breakfast burgie. Uh, I said a bun. I sure waffle. hope so. We better take a look at that CD while we're still alive and have the chance. What the? What? It's not the Rocco soundtrack, is it? Claw the Tiger? Oh, fuck you! Oh, oh my sorry, god, I wish to die. Tiger. Maya threw I've... herself off a building. I've... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. <laughs> Rocco, <laughs> Claw the Tiger. It's the Claw the Tiger. It's the cold of the fight. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it it's, right now. It's a demo CD. The artist's name has been handwritten on the disc and pen. MC Bomber. What? That's the name of the thing. This must be the CD Maggie told us about. Let's listen to it. I bet it's heavy metal. No Please. way. That woman will make us drink more coffee if, coffee if we do. It's found a tender Please. lender. A sample disc with the name written in marker. Let's see. This round doll thing is called a... Daruma, I think. I figured I'd read a book or two and be more cultured in case you're wondering. You mean you aren't making stuff up for a change? Heh! <laughs> I bet you also didn't know that no matter what, he'll always write himself? What? Oh, the Dharma. Oh, it's like it's it's the way it's written. I guess it's like if you throw on the floor, that's like gonna get it to back up. Come on, Nick. Give him a good. Yeah, yeah. Don't! Like one of those shove it! Piles. Only if I feel like dying. Now, this yellow thing. This is a Japanese chess piece. I think it's a king? Not that I'm an expert or anything. I'm more of a reverse eye person, you know? Reverse eye? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Assuming she knows what she's talking about, these aren't exactly your typical mobster wannabe items. They're not trophies, are they? Ugh. Oh, reverse hey! Is the type of There's a piece of paper sticking out from under here. That's what I was oh, interested re in. Reverse reverse is the type of board game, Sky. It's the board game where you have uh, bl the bl black circle pieces and the white circle pieces. Oh, no. Pieces. Oh. Gun got you spoofy emotes. I see. What is it? A repair bill? Looks like he did some repair work on his car. Does he even have one? $15,000 to replace a bumper and a light? That's wow. insane. The that car's registered to the Cadaverina? Cadaverinus? That sounds like a word for corpses. Like cadaver. Huh? So it's not even the tiger's car? Why would someone else's repair bill be in the tiger's office? A repair bill for 15000 paid by Tigre to the Cater... Cadaverini family. I have, a, I, have, I have two thoughts on this one. I have a feeling that that one girl is a Cadaverini. Oh. Uh, uh, I only see that because she looks like a corpse and the name sounds uh, like a corpse. Yeah. That, that, hey, look at this... Per Parisian style coat. It's so chic. Looks more like a pimp coat to me. I guess I haven't got an eye for fashion. I is it? I, I thought of it. I looked like a Santa coat, honestly, to me. Hey, hey, yo! I just realized this. God, you're right. He's got a fucking Phoenix it's, suit. Yeah, but it even has the badge on it. Look. It does. Oh. Is it? That suit is saying. Yeah. Okay. Now there's. So okay. Now they're saying it. Yeah. Hmm, the same color as my suit. Ah! Keep your voice down, Maya. 
Nick, you gotta take a look at the some cake. No. Ah! I'll just leave it here for you. No. Uh, yeah, sure. I um, th 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 thanks. Just wait here quietly. Otherwise, S sure. Did you hear that, Nick? Wait quietly. She said. Y yeah, sure. I don't want this touching shit. I have my eye on you. Only so I can take care of you. Understand? Uh, <laughs> you're good. Mm. Uh, I'm scared, Nick. So, what were you getting so excited about before? Look on the label of the suit. What? <laughs> oh. He got away oh. with that? Really? Does the fucking actual oh. badge just look fucking fake as fuck to everybody? And that they just. That looks like cardboard! That is cardboard. That is made out of cardboard. It's like literally the shit you cut out from a box. That is made out of cardboard. Check the item description? I will. Is the tiger a lawyer? No, no way! Look at this thing! It's made of paper! Found a tender lender, made of cardboard and painted to look authentic. For some reason, your badge suddenly looks really cheap to me, Nick! Why doesn't anyone recognize an obviously fake badge when they see one? Uh-oh, he's back. Oh, no. Wow. A long one. <sighs> I generally can't tell if that's the game or Phantom. That's Phantom. Okay. Come out from under the desk, Maya! Oh, God. What are you two snooping around in my office for? N nothing we were just my precious carpet you got your ass on my rug you just gonna wish your ugly feet never came through my door it, it, it wasn't us it was already you just wanna hug you with me is that what you're doing you think you can take me on i'm gonna flatten you two into pancakes and turn you into my new rugs Oh. Don Tigre, you're back. Fucking Don Tiger, really? Really? That voice. It's like evil seeping into your head through your ears. I want to call him El Tigre. Don. I'm sorry, Don Tigre. I knocked over that ashtray earlier and. E Has she got a death wish or what? Oh. Huh? But forget about it, Violetta. It's nothing. What? Wait, hold on. I'm gonna get mad at you. You're too cute. Yeah. And you know, I'm more surprised they didn't just call her Thursday. That's so unfair. Here, have some cookies. I just baked them. And you'll need some strong espresso while you're discussing your loan. Yeah? Yeah? They're crazy. Or just plain stupid to chase after me. I worked so hard, but now you're gonna come and mess up my plan. So it was him. He's my phony. <laughs> but I don't care. No one gets in my way. He's too soft because it's a woman? What? I mean, uh, excuse me? <laughs> you should have there left the little girl at home, right? Um, I have a few things to. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, this, this is the last time we meet. <clears throat> ah, wait, please! Pretty weak, Nick, says the one who was hiding under a desk. You waited until he was out of earshot before you shouted after him. Like you're oh. one to talk. I didn't hear you scream. Hold it either. The espresso. Ah! 
and cookies. This woman is definitely not good for my heart. Now, what was it the tiger called her? Violetta? Oh, can we talk oh, to her? Oh god, now we gotta talk to her. Oh my god. Every tiger needs their Discord. <laughs> Yo! So, I'm kind of curious about your company, Tender Lender. With the warm and friendly atmosphere you'd expect from a family-sized business. A conscientious rate of interest. And an attractive repayment policy. Why do I get the feeling the sentence is not going to end well? We will tenderly lend you that little bit extra here at Tender Lender. Hey, Nick, things are a bit tight for Wright & Co. at the moment, aren't they? No, 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 Maya. I no. mean, there's that $500 you owe me from our card game? No, no, what? Why don't you take out a loan? Would I like to take out a loan from a place like this? Not so much. Tender Lender is on your side. <laughs> so, um, let's say I'm late with my repayment. What happens then? We give you more coffee. Strong coffee. Um, <clears throat> right. I think I'd rather skip town. Hey, just remember I can make strong coffee too, Nick. Strong tea as well. Okay, whatever, my. <laughs> so, um, do you know about the incident we're investigating? What incident? Well, a man was poisoned in a restaurant just near here. That incident. Let me see. I was here that day with the manager. The manager being the tiger? Furio Tigre. F Furio? T -t Tigre. Furio. So that's where the tiger thing comes from? What a fucking name. Zin e has got a real name. Nick, hurry up and find out more about it. <laughs> right. That was the thing. Thank you, Blaze. Ugh. Uh, I do we have a do we have his profile? Yes. Oh my god. Can I ask you about the tiger? I mean, <clears throat> Mr. Tigre. Well, cookie. Sure. How do you like my cookies? I bake them myself. <laughs> Go ahead, oh Nick. The honor is all yours. No, no, ladies first, Maya. <laughs> no matter how I look at this, I just don't get it. What are the tiger and the scary girl doing working together? We are lovers. That's not exactly coming across in your hey, tone of voice. Hey, can we check her age real quick? Because she looks like a child. And I owned on Tigre my life. He is the one who saved me. The tiger saved you? Please, address him properly as Don Tigre. Otherwise, I'll have to. Oh, okay, okay, Don Tigre, of course. I'm sorry. He saved her life. i sure like to know how that happened. Oh, my bad. Talk to... Oh. I'm very frail, you see. Just recently, I died once. <laughs> what? What was that all? You what do you mean? Died? About four months ago. What? The doctor said to... Abandon all hope. I guess they were expecting her to take a boat ride across the River Styx. Well, that's one way to put it. But Don Tigre, he saved me. He gave up everything. Everything? When I found out what he had done for me, I was happy. No offense, but I'm finding that a little hard to believe. I decided I'd pay him back with my life. By, service, by serving him coffee and espresso. I still wonder about what's in her coffee. So, is that why you've got that bandage around your head? <sighs> this. Oh. Um, so what's the story with the bandage? They put it on after the operation. Oh. Operation? It's just a little injury. A little fatal injury. <laughs> a f fatal injury? Maya just suffered one herself by the sound of it. So that's the injury you were talking about before you said you had died once? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. 
Ugh, she really creeps me out, Nick! Same here, but we've got to find out the truth. Y'all want to know? That's a big old thingy. They nope, won't know. know. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with this right now. Oh fuck! Oh, no. oh god damn don't it! Don't tell me the old man. I'm gonna fucking throw it's a fit. The old man. No. There he. No! No! no. Man, this guy fucking ruins Christmas. I As swear I to said, God. I, I'm getting 13 Sentinels vibes. No. <laughs> there, take this and this and get out of my park. Like I thought. He is really. We should be the ones mad. Fuck him. No shit. Come on, Maya. Just keep your head down and let's sneak away while we still can. Please don't be Hollywood. Please don't be Hollywood. Mm. Well, why? Hello, old man. Uh... Don't be kind. Maya, why? Maya. What are you doing, Maya? Maya, you're a fucking moron. Huh? Yeah. Hey, he just turned his back on. Well, no shit. Good. Maya, are you fucking like dumb as shit? Yes. I'm not you surprised. Not remember earlier. <laughs> I bet I really heard his pride in court this morning. Remember, he, uh, he, he sung his pigeon song. Hey, Mr. Kudo! <laughs> oh, he's still singing it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, god. <laughs> Look, we really need to talk to you all. No, we don't. No, we fucking don't. Ah, oh, with the deals, I'm good with- I'm with good fortune! I'll see it's so splitter speedful! I always knew you were a demon, Maya. <laughs> yes. No, I don't want to talk to him. Oh my god, I wish to suffer no longer. Let's talk about today's trial. How'd you like it, pal? I'm sorry about what happened in No, we're not. No, we're fucking not. Why he should be apologizing to us. <laughs> Everyone will be talking about me behind my back now. A dirty old man was busy looking at server girl's backside. <sighs> Just another typical day in server's paradise, I guess. How's your word, you dirty old man? And, well, did, shut up! And he can't remember her face, a filthy, debris, disgusting sub. You think he'd remember the face of the of the backside he admires? Question mark. N not at all. Aren't you listening, boy? I don't care what you say. I saw the witches put it in. That looks like the girl we were just talking to. There's no way. She put some white powder into the young lady's jamachino. We hear you. Another thing, that young lamp I was wearing an earpiece. On the same side as the lens of his broken spectacles. <laughs> Uh, he's still adamant about this shit. We're really sorry. You should be. So I made a little mistake about the boss. So what? I mean, that's kind of a. I mean, none of what you said was valid. But apparently, according to this fucking game, something is valid about broken breaking a vase. I don't get it. I know what I saw. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you! Okay, okay, take it easy, please, Kudo. Don't you tell me to take it easy, you spiky haired brat! Take this! Aww. We're done with this fucking guy. Um, you s uh, I, I, well, I mean, me, we all thought that too. So we can't remember the girls that. He can't remember, th you know, for someone who's really adamant about backside should really look at the person's face and then see what times they work so that he can continue looking at the backside. That's, uh, that would be the smartest I've, thing to do and make it easier I've, uh, for me to fucking figure out who the fuck it was. Sometimes it's just neuron activate. <laughs> <laughs> the one neuron. I remember yeah. their, I remember their scent. Oh my god. You said you were a craftsman, right? Yeah! The modern world casts as honest craftsmen like me aside rooms. Surely it's not that. I come from a long line of craftsmen. Right back to the time of the Shogun's. Alright. Nobunaga, you would beg to work with my great-grandfather! Oh my god. Do you hear me? I didn't come in for a 
I was born one. Actually, I'm kind of in the same situation myself. How dare you? I... I... I wanted to stick my fingers up that dribbling old judge's nose. What? Oh! That's random, okay? Don't shut up. And scream right down his ear hole. OBJECTION! Oh, he also says ear hole. Like, I do mouth hole and ear hole. Nice. Yes, you have something in common with the crazy old man, Sky. Congrats. I'm really old. No! <laughs> Stop it! Oh, so did you want to become a lawyer when you were young? I don't think that's quite it, Maya. I think he's just in a bad mood, that's all. I've got a tsunami of frustration inside and it's ready to burst out. If we let him start rambling now, we might never shut him up. What should I do? Cut in. <sighs> Suck it up. Go Suck it up. Listen on to this I, feel like, I, feel, I feel like you cut in, he's gonna go on even longer. I I, I feel like... Whoa. Oh, because that's... Okay. Are we gonna save why. for this? Man, why are we saving for this? I, you know, in case my internet dies or some shit. I haven't I saved know. recently. Uh, I'm... I'm I, I feel like... I don't even remember what he was talking about because it was just nonsense. What was it? I've got a tsunami of frustration oh. ready to burst out! You know what? Suck it up. Let's see what he says. Maybe. Guess I better let him talk. So there's not much call for craftsmen these days, then. Of course not, you idiot. All I'm good for nowadays is running errands. Errands? Everyone takes advantage of the elderly. Buy some bread grips. Take the dog for a walk, Granddad. Oh, he's living with his family and his family. Take care of my baby! I'm joking! Save me! Oh, the fucking nagging! Jesus! Don't forget to take your pill! Fuck off! Need <laughs> that bitch, you know that. What am I, some sort of too big? I'm doing it now, but that's because I want to, not because anyone tells me to. Also, to be fair, Phantom, I always tell my mom and her boyfriend to take their meds. <laughs> oh. I know. Pills here! Pills here! Tell her what you're running your ears. No. Um, well, however, some people will take abuse of the elderly and make them do shit, which is unfortunate. Yep. It's so bread and now that I can understand. But what's the point of feeding some seedy pigeons? To get you out of the house so you stop bitching at them, probably. <laughs> They're just flying That rocks. would be... That would... <laughs> You're not wrong, bro! Dad just got to a park and feed some pigeons. <laughs> Why don't people get with, get say what they mean? Get lost. That's what they're trying to say. Oh, yes. I'm just an inconvenience, you see. At home, at that restaurant, I just get in the way, don't I? Uh, uh, I'm sure you don't. Are you fucking... Wait a minute. What did he just say? the restaurant i no. knew rambling would get it in let's no. fucking go at home and at that restaurant fucking knew it i knew he was gonna say some shit hold up by restaurant are you talking about trabian did you get asked to run an errand there too they gave me a body and i'll bury it so we don't worry about it yes i did that very day the young brat was Poison. Why didn't you say it in your what fucking you testimony? Your, what the? F Hold on, I need a drink. I'm fucking pissed. Oh, <laughs> uh, did I did I forget to mention that very important piece of oh, information? No. What the man me? talked about his pants looking like he pissed himself when the vase broke him on him, and he was talking about what fucking what fucking uh ear ear the fucking spectacles were. On with his fucking hand with the coffee cup. Pissed. I'm pissed. And don't worry about it. God, he's so. F oh, don't God. Worry about it, sweetie. If we if we need this evidence, all we have to do is call him as a witness again in the trial. I'll kill. I'll. I'll... <laughs> oh. Oh. I. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so on the day of the incident, what were you asked to do? <laughs> I wish to Glad, you Glad you asked, boy, because I'll tell you what I was asked to do. Shut right up, now, Phantom. Shut up, Phantom. In, in front of nobody at all, I'll, I'll tell you. 
She got so flustered that she couldn't form sentences. Oh! <laughs> This is gonna be like the most key piece of evidence, and for some reason he didn't bring it up, and I'm gonna be so angry. All of a sudden, a young black slumped over at the table. The serving girl collapsed. Was well, so he has to go get the? And I broke the vase. See, the vase plays a key at part. <gasps> oh, I'm so fast. I was a bit of a date. <laughs> I wish to. <sighs> Then the owner shot me over, shot it over to me. Yeah. It's are you, you call it police? Call it yourself! I should have said, but I didn't think of it at that time. That was the errand he had Bro, that would be the normal Bucky thing to do. Telling me to call the police, what does he think I am? I'm irritated by this guy. So did you end up calling the police? Like I said, that was a bit of a daze. Did you call them on your cell phone? What the fuck's a cell phone? Oh my god. Yeah. Do I look like I wear those newfangled thingamaboobs? I went looking for a payphone, of course. <sighs> Are you? He could've used Ooh. the fucking phone in the re- There was a phone at the restaurant, wasn't there? We're not crazy, right? I don't remember, but are you, so are you like partially the reason why that guy died? You went looking for one? Yeah, could've found one right away, you know, run around for like five minutes. <gasps> so? Five third. minutes? So for five minutes after the incident happened. Yes, sorry, the owner of Trans Bien was on his own. Oh my god. She might be wondering why I didn't think to bring this up. At why all. didn't you mention this in court this morning? I, you know. Oh. I forgot. Well, I would have if you would have given me the chance. Are you are you fucking serious? Was this the one one more thing, Jackie, you were going to say something? Why why did you bring up the base but oh, not yeah. this? I need to you know that JoJo meme where like those three guys are kicking the one guy down, yes! the other one sipping. Uh, I, I I feel like the old man's the one that we're kicking forget for forever until. <laughs> but y'all bully me out of the courtroom. This should have been the first thing you said. Good God. Oh, thank you, Mr. Godo. You certainly earned your kudos for today. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. If that's the case, that's good. I've got more to say. Oh, oh yes, my I God. remember something else. He legitimately had something else to add. Cliff, escort the witness out of the courtroom. But let's be real, though. Like, would we even fucking? Even the judge was nonsense sick at that point. It was. It was a very shit tier trial that day. All right. Biggest waste of time ever. It's not my fault. You're the ones to blame. Oh, silly me. Oopsie. I hate that he actually had something else to add. I hate that he shouldn't that that he should have said that as the first or second thing. But you know, to each their own, I guess. You could have at least told us before we got to court. Is it really that important that Mr. Kudo was the one who called the? Yeah, well, not that he called the police, but that everyone was alone for five minutes. What's important is the unaccounted time before the police arrived. The victim was dead, and Maggie was unconscious. Which leaves that woman, I mean that man, alone in the restaurant. Mr. Kudo might have been chased out of the place on purpose. What do you mean? Maybe a certain someone didn't want him in the restaurant. Ah! Sure. You go and say I was say, say I was in the way as usual. Yeah, sure. You're whatever. You're just Graham. like my wife. Oh. All right. I said, and my daughter. I suppose I should be getting myself covered in pigeon poo instead. You sound like my daughter. We need to get more details about what exactly happened from Maggie and from Mr. Armstrong. 
All right. And don't even get me started, my shitty grandson. Uh... All he cares about is the TikToks and the. Oh no. Looks like Mr. Armstrong's out again. Thank God. We needed to talk to him, doll. We need him to account the five minutes that no one was here with him. But the place is open for business. You can't have an open restaurant without a chef. Hey, it's not my fault, Nick. Don't take it out on me. She doesn't work there anymore. Only a couple of minutes after, in after the incident happened. Mr. Kudo left the scene, leaving Mr. Armstrong here alone. Uh, missing when we need to talk to him the most. Maybe he's trying to avoid us on purpose? Uh, should we examine things here? See what's different? The treasure chest, the bottles. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nope. Maybe something here. This is the no. uh, yeah bedtime literature. We had to read it in in uh, in French. But yeah, okay. Nope. Nothing of interest and in value was lost. I'm just gonna say nothing's here. All right, whatever. He's not here. I don't know why he's not here. Is Maggie available now? Yes. <clears throat> ah, okay. Oh, Mr. Wright! I'm gonna oh. get a drink. Okay. Hello, Maggie. So they finished questioning you? Wasn't it, it wasn't just unbelievable in court today, sir? I'm gonna stay up all night and blog about everything. Blog? Wow, you're in jail. For a month, you've been in jail. Were you scared? It was pretty oh, touch and go in there. Yeah, but you totally nailed that old man. Well, he was all over the place with his testimony. He's not the only one. Huh? What do you mean? Everyone else's testimonies don't match up either. Not with what I remember of the incident anyway. Is it possible she's the one misremembering things? Uh, I want to give her the... Oh my god, we got so much fucking evidence now. Holy shit. Oh yeah, I've got something you're going to love. Really? What is it? A lunchbox, just for you. Here. Wow, a lunchbox? Weenies too? I can't believe it! Thank you, sir! Did you make this just for me, right? Nah, it was Detective Gumshoe. Who else would make such a nice lunchbox for you? Detective Gumshoe? He's really worried about you. Looks like you put a lot of effort into making this too. I can't accept it. Detention center rules. No gifts allowed, sir. Ooh. Hey, come on, Maggie. Don't be like that. The rules are the rules. They'll lock you up if you break them. Somehow, when an ex-cop turns waitress says that, it seems a whole lot scarier. And anyway... I hate weenie! But you... I think that's a lie. I think that's a fucking lie! You seemed really excited when you seen all of them. Oh, really? It's all yours, Maya. You can enjoy it with Mr. Wright. B but She's right. It's, it's better than letting it go to waste. But, I guess so. Gumshoe's lunchbox eaten with Maya. Well, how was it? That hit the spot. I love... <laughs> no, I don't want to say... I love weenies. Oh, good. I'm glad I gave it to you then, sir. Damn, Sky didn't know. Neither did I. We're clipping that right now, right? <laughs> I mean, they clip phantoms. <laughs> Maggie, you know how else you said it? You know how you said that everyone else provided testimony that doesn't match up with what you remember? Yep, there are just so many things that don't seem to add up. The biggest contradiction is the other guy I saw the victim. Yeah, that, that's. I mean. He was the one who slipped something into the victim's coffee. I'm sure it was him. But didn't Mr. Kudo testify earlier today? That it was the waitress who put some white powder into the coffee cup? So you really think it was this disappearing man that did it? Well, it's not the only thing that disappeared. The CD vanished as well. You know, the CD with the writing on it? Oh yeah, the MC Screwdriver album. Guy, there are children here, and you make that statement like <laughs> I figured I'd give it to you, boys. It was MC Bomber, Maya. That was the name scrolled on the sports paper. They never did find that CD at the crime scene, sir. 
Or the victim's medication. That's gone missing, too. Ouch! My head! This is getting way too complicated for me. You said that you passed out when the victim Glenn Elg collapsed, right? Yes, it's so embarrassing. I mean, I used to be a cop. When I came to, the restaurant was buzzing with police. And before I knew what was going on, they arrested me, sir. So, so between the time the victim collapsed and the time the police arrived on the scene, you have no idea what went on at Trey Bien. No, no idea at all. Why? Is it important, Mr. Wright? The other witness, the old man from the park, was pretty much chased out of the picture. Chased out of the picture? What do you mean? Old Seedy was inside the restaurant because he was told to call the police. Exactly, and you, Maggie, were unconscious. That means Armstrong was alone at the re in the restaurant for a brief period of time. I need a drink. You don't think Mr. Armstrong set me up, do you? When you consider the facts, it's hard to imagine that Mr. Armstrong isn't involved in this at all. Gah! It's like the master biting the paw of the dog that feed that it feeds. Are you sure about this, Mr. Wright? Well, the old man said as much when we spoke with him earlier. I don't know. The thing The things that man says don't add up for some reason, sir. Maggie looks like she's trying to figure something out. Maybe we should ask Maggie exactly what she knows about old CD. God, I look at stream chat. Uh, oh my god. God, the call. <laughs> oh my Twitch god. <laughs> no, it's so good. It's true, though. <laughs> uh, where's this old man at? Here it is. It's me! The old man! Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. Scott, how do you think a conversation between, her, between Kudo and o Old Burp would go? Oh my god. I have no I'm idea. The unstoppable force meets the unmovable object. <laughs> it feels like forever since I saw a witness as slippery as that old man. He's not really that bad of an old man, though. Still, I feel a bit uneasy. Huh? I thought you just said you felt much better. Maggie, if there's something on your mind, you've got to tell us. Especially if it has anything to do with Kudo or his testimony. Roger, I'll spill it all and see what you make of it. Cool. Thanks. Let's see. Is there anything about Kudo's testimony that stood out as odd to you? Actually, yes! The fact that he was even testifying to begin with doesn't quite... Doesn't quite... <clears throat> doesn't quite what? Well, when I took the coffee over to the victim's table... It's true there was another customer in the restaurant. Yeah, we know that already. It was Victor Kudo. But I can't really say... It was an old man? What? Okay, then how about calling him a really old middle-aged man? <clears throat> no, age isn't the issue. The other customer was... A woman. A woman? What? Are you sure, Maggie? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. So what did this woman look like? Um, she was sort of creepy. And she had kind of a cackling laugh. Creepy. Oh. Cackling? Old bird? Why do I get the feeling I've can't I've come across a woman like that recently? Oh no, probably uh the her. I know I, I know he's incarcerated now. Okay, whatever. Maybe uh, maybe maybe uh the computer oh, bit? Uh, there we go. Wait. Holy smokes, that's him! Huh? That's your phony, Mr. Wright. Just look at that ridiculous suntan. Um, for the record, I'm not sunburned like an overdried tomato, so I don't know how... He told me you've been on a business trip to Hawaii, and that's where he got the tan. <laughs> I'm not hearing this. Oh my god. Oh, right. The, uh... The CD. I used to be on the no 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 all right whatever uh, uh ah is that your attorney's badge actually it's a fake holy smokes that's it huh that's the badge your phony had mr right you got duped by this 
But it's a completely different color! And what about the fact that it's made of paper? You said that the badge got a tan as well? <laughs> Fuck off. I'm beginning to see how my phony was able to gain her trust. No? Hi! Hi. I, I presume I missed a bit. I'm yeah. We did went I to Tender funny, Lender. Did I miss the funny robot lady? Yes. Yes. Damn it. Hunter, Hunter, I have a question. Yeah? Why does it take you so long for fucking tacos? I wasn't making tacos. Gun perpetuated that move that bit. <laughs> he gave me. I a wasn't thing actually making. He wasn't actually, actually gave us like a a Discord message. Well, I that's what... you were making tacos. I said in the stream chat that I was finishing Splatoon. That's Splatoon. what I thought. But then he gave me a thing. Hey, Gun, can you relate this, my text to everyone else? I won't be able to join Sky and everyone. These tacos are quite the handful at the moment. Gun, Angel, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> It's in stream chat. I posted it. You can scroll up. If you go up, if you go up a bit, yeah, it's above the uh, picture Omega posted. And it was at the time too. He's in the he's he's in the chat. You know he's probably fucking cackling right now. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, it doesn't want to load. Maybe um, because it knows it's wrong. Does she say anything about computer lady? Oh, when stream died. No, I I turned it off and on. She does that. Good to do that every now and then. Anyway, huh? <sighs> trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to piece where we're at right now. Uh, we went to Tender Lender. We met we went to Blue Screen Incorporated, or where the fuck? Did they do the? Did you? Did you ask for the? Did you ask what is Sparta? What? Hey yo. What? I guess that's a no. This is Sparta. No. Yes. Hunter, to be fair, you making tacos was more believable. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> At the end of the day, there was a punishment. My fingers are now in pain. So. Ow. Hey, taco boy, you done? I'm not making tacos. Um, I did it. I was Hunter, never tacos. Uh, we, we got bamboozled by Gun Angel. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I literally spent the entire day from wake up until just now bl blitzing through Splatoon 3 Story Mode. Wait, then who said that earlier? I thought you said you were talk you made tacos earlier. Gun oh, Gun gave me a thing, and it's in stream chat if you scroll up a little bit. I believed it because his time said 4.49, but it's Gun Angel's time, so it was 7.49-ish. Oh! He's, he's a cheeky boy, Gun Angel is. He's fucking cheeky boy! Yes, he is. Well, in the time between the victim being poisoned and the police being called- Yeah, there's Gun! There's Gun! <laughs> there he is. The only You're person who was left to that chance to do anything was Mr. Armstrong. There was no one else there. I wasn't gonna say anything, because tacos can take five hours or five minutes, depending, so... Mr. Armstrong wouldn't- He wouldn't set me up, would he? Uh... I don't think I can give her anything else. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe the, the actual testimony. Nope. Never. Uh, feels like ever since I saw witnesses. Oh, wait. Hold on. It feels forever since I saw witnesses slippery as that old man. He's not really that bad of an old man, though. What? <laughs> or is he? Still, I feel a, feel a bit uneasy. Huh? I thought you just said you felt much better. Maggie, if there's something on your mind, you've got to tell us. Especially if it has anything to do with Mr. Kudo. Oh no, we already did this. Didn't we? No, yeah, we did. Victor's testimony. Okay, um... Maybe go to Criminal Affairs? Maybe we can see what's going on there? Yes! Let's hey, go, Queen! Air for, air for oh, jump scare! The the milk. Why the heck is it the press conference up yet? The Super Nintendo's here already! Yeah, and there's a problem with the internet, too. I already <laughs> oh, told you to stop using your computer cheap. What the hell? But I'm watching videos online, and I'm catching up on my Asian soap operas. God damn it! No! It's gonna have to wait, Chief. I'm throwing the switch. No! Just when, with just when some young guy was about to confess to his son's hot to truck girlfriend. Oh, what? God. Wow, this place really oh, is buzzing. Sorry, Chief, are you what the, are you watching a head tie? 
Something must be going down. Something really big. Oh, there he is. Ah! I didn't get scared! Detective Gumshoe! You can't be here right now! You'll be roped into the briefing if you stay. Huh? We've got big problems here today. As he says with a smile. Why? What's going on? It's a virus! A virus! A virus? There's a virus ripping through the precinct's computer system! Is it the most of But I really need to ask you some questions. And so I could be soap dramas. Okay, I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up! Y yes No matter how poor you get, never borrow money from a place like this, you hear? Um, okay? I'm gonna grab the brownie. You got yeah. money trouble. Just go on a diet of instant noodles and hang in there. Uh, we're not thinking about borrowing money, detective. Uh, we want information. Oh, is that all? Let's see. Uh, so, so what's to tell Gumshoe the bad news about his, uh, food? <laughs> <laughs> Tenderlinda is considered to be even fishier than the average illegal loan shark. And it seems it ran into trouble just recently. Those guys have been pretty heavy-handed, calling all, all their debts. Really? Don't go poking your nose around in their business, pal. You'll really regret it if you upset that lady. Alright, I, I get the picture. Hey, wait a minute! Wait, how do you know- What did he just say? That lady? How do you know, gun Gunnigan? Who's this lady he's talking about, Nick? Take How do you know guys. this comes you? We better find out what the story is with this lady. I thought you So what exactly is a computer virus, Gumshoe? Well, you know sometimes we're going on a download page, but there's more than one download button. Oh you my god. You gotta be really careful which one you click. Oh, that Fuck. media. Y'all remember <laughs> media <laughs> fire? How bad did he fucking click on? Y'all remember the media fire shit oh, days, man? man? Media fire. Uh, let's fucking go. You know when you get an email from some prince in Nigeria that says you want a million dollars of his inheritance? <laughs> yeah, uh, that prince isn't real. I had four computers that were lost in that scale. Did I miss any big plot, dumb? I don't know. Ever the, <laughs> the sus music is playing, and it's uh, I say it's the sus music because I think the theme is called suspense. Oh no, this uh, this theme's been oh, playing yeah, every no. time we come here now because of the oh. whatever's going on here. Oh, all right. It's There's an emergency. What? Look, I just go with the flow, all right, pal? And here I thought detectives were supposed to be somewhat knowledgeable. What's with that face, pal? You think I know what a virus is? Well, Nick, do you? A computer virus, sure. I mean, only, a sim only in simple terms, of course. Really? Well, you know everything, Professor Nick. Yeah, I'm gonna call you Dr. Wright from now on. Really, Mina? Dr. Wright. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. Don't you agree, Detective Wright? Why do I get the feeling they're making fun of me? Okay, fine. I'm no expert, but I can at least explain the basics to the two of you. When, when you explain how a computer works to a boomer, right? <laughs> a virus... Oh my god, I'll call you a doctor! A virus is a program that gets inside a computer and causes damage. Damage? You mean it makes the machine go boom and explode? No. No, the damage is, um... It's all internal. So the inside goes boom, right? Imagine all the case data you got stored on your PC, uh, all in stored on your PCs here in the station. A virus could wipe out all of that. That's the kind of damage I'm talking about. Whoa, that's scary. Yeah, and what's even more scary is that viruses are infectious. Infectious? Most computers are connected together on a network, right? A virus can move from one machine to another over the network. So the virus just keeps spreading faster and faster. Hmm, just like a real virus, huh? But Nick, why would anyone want to make a program like that? Yeah, it takes ages to type in all that data. Would you want to destroy it, pal? No, people don't infect their own machines. They send the virus to someone else's. What? That's horrible. Oh, I get it. It's like you're sneezing on Mr. Gatho so he catches a cold. Right! Then he wouldn't be able to turn up in court because he'd be too sick. You really shouldn't do stuff like that, Nick. It's wrong. 
What? Uh, How did it come come to what this? What the fuck is wrong with her? Don't forget, You're Maya not, said she knew more about computers. And that's Maya just like you. Describing is biological warfare. <sighs> Who? What? Where? When and why did the conversation jump to talking about me? Anyway, that's what a computer virus is. A bad program that causes damage. And all the different viruses have names, right? I kind of feel like I've heard the name of the virus we caught somewhere before. Uh. The, the name of the virus, huh? I feel like I've heard of it before, too. What? Thinking yeah, emoji. Oh! Ding, ding, ding. The b b um bomber, bomber something. B-17 bomber. B-17 bomber. I wasn't at the trial myself. But I asked this one detective I know how your defense was. And what did he say? He started off by saying I'm at a complete loss for words. But he must have found something quick because he went on about how bad you were for an hour. But... Hey, he said you sucked so much it seemed like you were trying to get Maggie found guilty. It looked like I was trying to get Maggie found guilty? That wasn't I it. think it's the, I think it's the it's the rolled up news it's the rolled up one. Uh, that one. Detective Gumshoe about the nope. Uh, don't you actually have the CD? Yes. Wait, hold on. Oh wait. Ah! This is it. This stupid name I remember now. I thought so. Here it comes. Don't just nod your nod to yourself and keep me in the dark, Nick. What's going on? It's okay, Mai. You don't have to cry about it. The name's scribbled on that sports paper and written on that CD. Oh, it's either or. That's the name of the virus! MC Bomber! What? Yeah, the virus that's just infected every computer in the station, pal! It's MC Bomber! Can you give us any more details, please? We already knew about the MC Bomber virus from a while back. A group of criminals issued a series of demands to the head of honchos of law enforcement. They threatened to release the virus if the demands weren't met. Who are they? I don't know. Some hot jets from the criminal underworld would be my guess. And now the virus has been released. Oh, you. <laughs> they, they, called, they called themselves Dead Sack. And now the virus has been released, huh? Yeah, it's in every computer and every public office in the city. Oh, that's a big deal. That is. Everyone's going nuts! They're hopping around like they're dancing in a carnival! All this stuff with criminals and viruses, it almost feels like we're in a sci-fi movie. Apparently, the program will made the virus is a real genius or something. Focus right now is on tracing the road of this virus on the black market. You mean someone put this virus up for sale? Yeah, some vendor named F Society. It's interesting. Yeah, and because this one's so powerful, they're estimating its price tag was in the millions of dollars, pal! In the millions? A virus can be worth that much? It says it contains a computer virus program. Why'd he put it in the fucking radio, then? Uh... Yeah. Why the hell do you have a random calendar? I actually yes. forgot its context. Uh, Glenn Elk oh. was a gambling addict. Ah... Uh, of course, I get it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, 500 of them. 500 different lotto tickets. <laughs> I'm guessing we have stuff to show to what's your face now. I don't know. Here we go. Never did find the contents of that bag. It was medicine for Mr. Elk's ruptured eardrum, right? Yeah, we found traces of it left in his left ear canal. He must have used it while it was at Tres Bien. Once we're sure of that much. Oh, no, he still has the fucking bottle, right? Uh, oh, yeah. We never got the answer to that.
That's the girl who walks over at the tender Linda. I forgot he mentioned woman. <laughs> you want to stay from her, okay? I mean it. She does look kind of unforgiving, doesn't she? That should be the least of your worries, pal. What's that supposed to mean? What could be worse? Oh no. Oh, backstory. Her name's Wednesday Adams. Stop it! Oh my god. She's the only granddaughter of Bruto Cadaverini. Oh my god, she's a mobster daughter. Not Yakuza. Bruto Cadaverini? Do you know who that is, Nick? Never heard of him. He's a Italian mobster. Bruto Cadaverini's the boss of the Cadaverini family. The Cadaverinis? That's one scary sounding name. You can't touch them. They're way too powerful for the police. But you're thinking of taking them on, aren't you? No, I don't remember ever saying I was going to. Better get some more info out of Gumshoe about this family. They had this guy that works for them called the Mad Dog. <sighs> oh, God, no! No! These are the Katarinis, not the Shimanos! <laughs> I want some more water, but I want to finish this investigation before I do. Okay. I don't know how much longer this is. Okay. Yeah. Get water. <laughs> I'm not sure if I really want to get involved in this, but who are the Caterinis? Who are they? Gary bunch of people. That's who. Very helpful. You're a cop and you're scared? What's that about? Trust me, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or a cop. These guys are scary. They've got some serious clout in the criminal underworld. We can't touch them. They've got too much moolah. Moolah? As in... They pretty much control all the cash on the city's black market. The black market, huh? And that includes Tender Lender, I Next take it? Thing. Sure. Though it stands up the Brutal Cadverini. I mean, no one. Interesting. So, Viola's the granddaughter of some Mafia's boss, then? Yeah, and everyone knows how much Brutal loves his little girl. She means everything to him. So, how did she end up a tender lender? I don't know, pal. But I heard she and the boss of tender lender are, uh, pretty tight. Tight? That's what it said in a file I read related to Maggie's case. Sounds like a pretty important clue. God, I can't believe it! I almost forgot the most important thing! And that is... Oh you no! Hold the lunchbox. How did everything go? Oh, oh don't play the nice music for this. That lunchbox is ancient. Uh, lunchbox? You remember the weenies? Oh. Uh, I hate weenies. Oh no! Oh yeah, oh. those weenies. Oh yeah, no! About that, um. So, how did my weenies taste? When did they taste? When they went down the hatch? <laughs> No, it gets worse. I'm sorry, I'm sure. Huh? <laughs> um, well, it was delicious. Yeah, that's what she said, really? <sighs> um, well, not exactly. Don't worry about it, pal. Okay. I figured something would happen, so I came prepared. Did you? Oh, no. Prepared? What do you mean? I made a jumbo lunchbox! More. Oh, and more no! home. Do me a favor again, huh, pal, and deliver this! This sure is a heavy burden, in more ways than one. I can just imagine Maggie's little eyes sparkling with joy when you bring her that. Yeah! Oh, how did those gum yeah. show me? <laughs> yeah. Meanies again, Nick? Tell me we don't have to eat all these too. Mm. Oh, oh no! Yum! Put it in the tum. I can't really eat anymore. Uh. There's a lot of weenies. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, what do I do? We could probably show that CD to what's her face. Da, 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 uh, 
Let's. Oh no, she's not here. I was about to say, let's just give her weenie. Oh well, I'm. You know what? Maybe, maybe she is here. No, no, never mind. She's not here. Nope. You're just not there. Damn. The what kitchen. About... Is he? Nope, he's not back yet. Somebody, screen. somewhere, do something. Blue screens. Nope. Hello there. Wait, wait, How wait can you show her the disc? Show me the uh, disc. Maybe. Show it to oh, me. Man. I want to know about the disc. Look at all this fucking evidence we got. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah, Would you mind well... taking a look at this? Okay, wait, 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 uh, I'm, I'm sorry. That no, is super admin restricted desk pop. Shut up, Hunter! It doesn't. Oh. Uh, no, I don't. Oh. Uh... Sparta. There you go. This is the funny reference. Sesame? Bruh. What? If it's not Sesame, then it must be your mother's maiden name. That's how it all. Oh. There's no point in having a password if it's always the same thing, Maya. I guess she just doesn't want to talk about that. Maybe we should focus on asking about Glen Elk. What do you say? We tried that. But we also got a. Uh, no, 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 blah, blah, blah. yeah, that's- I didn't mean for this to happen! You know what? Oh. I might be able to have something for this. You have enough- you seem to have a collection of evidence at this point, so... Let's just see what we can get away with. I think we should be able to do this now that we got- Yeah. Give it a shot. It doesn't hurt, right? No. Only hurts my Four health. Dollars. Actually, I can see if I have full health now. Oof. Cleanse troubles. Yeah, okay, that's why we didn't get any stuff. So how are you... So how about you tell me what kind of trouble Mr. Elg was in? I'm sorry, sir. We won't deal with the trouble sorting here. Oh my fucking god. That's why I want you to do this voice, Hunter. Oh, yeah. Perhaps you'd like to speak to someone in customer service. What's she talking about? I guess I better just take a shot and see where it gets me. Miss Basil, let me ask you something. Did Mr. Elk's troubles have something to do with this? This, right? No, not profile. Hey. What is that? A bunch of horse racing tickets, all losing ones. With that many tickets, you could get one dollar at the recycling center. That's what we all just said earlier. You good people are very, very bad. Cashing in on others, others' misfortunes is immoral. Is that is a whiff of hypocrisy I smell? Done. But what is the relevance of these tickets? The victim, Mr. Glen Elg. He had a gambling habit, didn't he? I don't think that's a logical conclusion based on facts. Everyone likes to go to the races from time to time. Yeah, but not everyone buys this many tickets. Anyway, I don't believe that proves anything on its own. You're right, but I'm not through yet. Mr. Elk's gambling wasn't restricted to horse races, was it? The lotto ticket. The lottery, horse racing. He bought a lot of tickets and lost a lot of times. That's gotta have hurt his wallet pretty bad, don't you think? Ooh, sweaty Eddie. Maybe bad enough to be the cause of some pretty serious trouble, perhaps? No! Oh, no! You are right. Glenn did have a gambling habit. You good people must not, must not follow his example. Do you understand? Trust me, even if I wanted to, I don't exactly have the money to buy any. But, if you win, there's no problem, is there? And Glenn had a winning ticket, didn't he? For half a million dollars. Yeah, but... It's hard to imagine how you could have been troubled then, isn't it? It's true that Mr. Elg won half a mil in the end. But that was his first stroke of good luck. He was in deep trouble before that. Deep trouble? What do you mean? Mr. Elg's real problem was with someone or something more terrifying him for... Uh, ah. How do I make it tender, Lender? Go to profiles. 
I was also going to suggest the calendar, now that I think about it. I was just going to suggest the actual guy, because it says someone. Jean's the... John's the... Prophet. But that works, too. Uh, actually... Up oh, the game is thinking. There we go. Oh my god, we actually have his? 78! Yeah, yo. Tenderland. Old right? man. Yes. Old man. Furio Tigre, the boss of a lone office called Tender Lender. Tender Lender? People with businesses should think harder before naming their offices. Says, bl yeah, you're one to talk, blue screen ink. Well, what do you what's, think? What's wrong with the name Blue Screen Inks? I'm wearing blue, and we have screens. Blue screens. Our firm is doing very well at the moment. I don't think we need to borrow money. No, no, no. I mean about Mr. Elg. You think Glenn has something to do with this fur Furio Tiger? Yes. I'm sorry. I don't know of any connection between the two of them. Really? Because I've got proof that Mr. Elg and the Tiger knew each other. If it no, is... I think you show the now you show the paper, right? No, the, the calendar. Oh, that might work too. Furio Tigre, a.k.a. the Tiger, is the boss of a loan office called Tender Lender. This is who Mr. Elg met with on the day of his murder. And the only thing a loan shark would talk with him about it would be his debt. No! It's true that Glenn had racked up quite a bit of a debt from his gambling habit. About $100,000, I think. Holy, you think. That's about... I don't know if this is in yen or in American dollars, but anyway. I but think I heard it is American, actually. Then a hundred thousand dollars, which would be about ten million yen. But I heard he won the lottery, so he should have come in the clear. Shame Maggie couldn't get a bit of that good luck. Okay, so the guy got lucky and won the lottery. But what if he hadn't won? What was his plan then? Well, that isn't easy to say, but he said he would use his talents to repay the money. Oh, he made the virus. By, by exchanging him. Oh. His talents? I suspect he was talking about programming. Yeah, he definitely made the fucking MC Bomber thing. That's why it was written all over the place. What computer program is worth $100,000? Perhaps you good people should leave so I can get back to my work. Oh, she knows about this fucking shit? Oh, yeah, she's sweating, too. I'm so close like, to cracking oh, yeah. her. The program in question was... Was it by any chance... Oh, this? We talked to Gumshoe. Thank God. Oh, shit. Can you, you imagine we got up to that point and we didn't even talk to Gumshoe and that shit happened? Yeah, good thing. This is the virus that's infecting computers worldwide as we speak. MC Bomber. Dylan, bitches! Finally! Now we got the guy who we can't fucking find! Armstrong. Armstrong? Glenn's, Glenn's head had more processing power than any computer. The but it had been infected with a gambling on. virus. What the? Oh, what the? Oh, okay. Glenn was in too deep. You mean he was in debt? Yes, $100,000 in debt. Not an easy amount to repay. That's just a fucking down payment. I wanted a big a down payment of a medium fucking house. No. So, he said it was taking on some extra work. Something a bit frisky. Risque? How? Oh. Maybe he was going to become a waitress at. <laughs> yeah, that, that. You are correct on the money, Maya. Where do you come up with these ideas? So, it's safe to say Mr. Elg was the creator of this virus, huh? The MC Bomber virus? Yes! It was a work of genius. In a bad sort of way, of course, but still, genius. Something like that would probably fetch several million dollars on the black market. Inconceivable. Gumshoe was right for a change. This date, December 3rd, also my birthday, that is marked on his calendar. That was his deadline for repaying his debts. It's scary when people know your 
fucking personal business. Yes. Well, I am a computer. I mean, not a computer. <laughs> I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot. What? I oh do God. human things like eat food and go to concerts. So, so let me remind everybody. We got this disc maybe like a half hour ago, and in a span of the half hour, it's been updated three times. Wait a minute. Is this when we got the- it, and then when we figured out it was a virus, and then Glenn Elg made the virus. Hey, wait, one second. Is that thing saying it's currently worth a million dollars, what you're holding? Yeah. You should take that and sell it. <laughs> like, I guess we won't be that... needing these horse hey, racing tickets anymore. Glenn Elg's losing horse racing tickets thrown back on the floor. What? Use hey, a trash can, littering? Nick! Are you littering my goddamn floor? I will exterminate you. Exterminate you. Exterminate you. Okay, so now we just need to find... Are we done with her? Yeah, I think we're done with her. Yeah, All right, back to normal voice. Hi, everyone. I'm no longer a computer. So now we need to find what? Armstrong. What 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 thing were you using for that? Because I was I actually was... thinking about doing that if I was the hero. Part. I'm using something called Clownfish Voice Changer. And it has presets like Atari, Alien, and Robot. And I just put on a, a robot and turned the treble up. Wait, did this guy <laughs> have a thing? No. Hey, what do you what do you want to talk to me? No? Okay, bye. <laughs> did she have she did have one. Do I mean we learned who she is, but do we have stuff to do this? Oh well, let's see. Context is in fact everything. Uh no, my voice is growing more normal now. Uh, we have the Trabian thing. I think this is for her, because I don't know why we would need this. Other than that, uh, the fake thing. We have weenies. We have Did the repair bill. Oh wait. We have the bike. We might be ready for this. Do wait, could you con could you confront her with the identity of her father? No, no, no. Oh yeah, we do have. This. Like by the way, your fucking dad. This man's your grandfather, right? Carrying a picture like that around with you. You should watch your back. The what? The... Uh, thanks for the advice. Hey, yo, wait, what do you mean? The family is always watching me from the shadows. The family? The I thought family. I saw something suspicious under the corner of that rug. One wrong movement. Are you a job? You might disappear forever. <laughs> This feels like yeah. Halloween, only a whole lot more real, and a whole lot scarier, too. Okay, yeah. I think, I think, I think we should be ready for this. I feel like we're not, because she's got four fucking locks on her, but we'll see. Goddamn. I forgot how hard that goes. Yeah. I don't know if we have everything, but I'm gonna see. Might as well try. You said that bandage around your head was from an operation? You also said you suffered a fatal injury to the head, correct? Yes, the operation was very... difficult, apparently. Now, by fatal injury, you mean you were hurt very badly somehow, right? <laughs> Did the injury in question have something to do with... Nope. Okay. Donuts! <laughs> Jam?! No, 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 we're good. Well, I don't, I don't do, I don't do jam, jelly-filled donuts, okay? No, no jelly rice, donut. no rice balls here. Oh my god, achievement unlocked. Violetta's homemade don't. Yes, queen. Really? Finally. Did the injury? Okay, I don't. <sighs> the repair bill. Yes. I have here a car repair bill. From this, it seems pretty obvious that this car was involved in an accident. Let me see that. This bill is made out to... to cadaverinis? E e yes it is. I don't think I ever introduced myself. Tell me, what do the cad cadaverinis have to do with me? Something tells me she's not about to say hi and introduce herself. All right, then. Your relationship with the Cadaverini is very strong. I, g g Grandpa? Grandpa! Grandpa! 
Grandpa. I know exactly who you are, Viola Cadaverini. You sustained that injury in a traffic accident, didn't you? Oh. It happened about four months ago. I was driving in one of our family cars when someone pulled out in front of me. It was a motorbike or something like that. I don't remember it much. Anyway, I swerved to try to avoid it, but... Oh. I'm starting to remember shit now. I took a blow to the head. A bad one. Yeah, I can't imagine. So what happened to the person on the bike? I'm guessing they didn't get away with injuring THE Viola Cadaverini, right? I don't know what happened to them. They ran away, or so I heard. Ran away? If they'd stayed, I'd have... <laughs> huh. It, is it possible? Could the person who committed the hit and run have been... It was this man, wasn't it? He was the cause of your accident. It wasn't Don Tigre. I refuse to believe it. We collided. The motorbike and my car. But Don Tigre isn't injured at all, is he? It was a tiger who caused Viola to crash. I can feel it. Plus, one of her locks just broke. So she must suspect it was him, too. I'm sorry, Miss Cadaverini. But I have proof that the tiger was involved in a traffic accident on his bike. The bike itself. Oh my god, so much fucking evidence. I, I want to say it gets cleaned up by the trial, but yeah. I don't remember. It's not exactly a motorbike, but Mr. Tigre rides around on a scooter, doesn't he? <laughs> and you'll notice that the front wheel guard is badly damaged. Miss Cadaverini, you know the truth, don't you? <laughs> oh, he's coming. This repair bill was paid by Furio Tigre. The Cadaverinis have, have known for ages who caused the accident, haven't they? It's possible, perhaps. Somewhere inside me, I know that may be true. I knew it. But Don Tigre still saved my life. The operation was very complicated. It was very, very expensive. How much are we talking? Very, very, very expensive. She seems kind of hesitant about giving me an actual figure. I should back off. Well, anyway, it was the tiger who paid for it, right? After I recovered, Don Tigre told me. He said he paid for the operation because he cared about me. I believe him. Really? But do you honestly believe that to be true? Do you want to know what I think? I think the reason he paid for the operation was because of you, but someone else. Grandpa! Grandpa. Perhaps I shouldn't be saying this, but... Your grandfather, Bruto Cadaverini, controls a lot of dubious cash, right? And you are his beloved pride and joy. Sure, I don't know exactly how much the operation costs, but... If you weren't the granddaughter of Mr. Cadaverini, do you think Mr. Tigre would have paid the money? One million dollars! Hmm. I see. Hi, Ruby. Welcome it's back. It's all becoming clear to me now. Oh, the game's thinking. Hold on. Wait. There we go. Zvani! No! Four months ago, I, I was in a traffic please. accident. That's why I needed the operation. When I woke up, they told me it was nothing serious. A simple procedure. Oh, really? Well, I guess if she recovered in four months, it couldn't have been too big. They said the operation costs one million dollars. Uh, a million bucks?! My grandfather ordered Don Tigre to pay one million dollars in compensation. Compensation, huh? It's underworld lingo for paying money to settle a score. 
basically pay or get into some serious trouble. But a million bucks? This has to be related to our poisoning case somehow. Oh. I wanted to believe him. I wanted to trust what Don Tigre said. He said it had nothing to do with my grandfather being Bruto Cadaverini. I wanted to believe he helped me because he cared about me, not about my grandfather. Oh, she really cared about. Oh no, I feel bad for her. Oh, oh. But I knew that wasn't really true. Wow, I'm so sorry. What he did to get him the, get the money was it was evil. He said it was all for me, so I I helped him. Evil. You helped him? In what way? Here, take these. What are these? Medical papers? I I'm Bruto Cadaverini's granddaughter. He had to pay compensation. He was made an offer. He simply couldn't refuse. Aww. Aww, he, she walked out! I feel bad for her! A one million dollar bill for cranial surgery. Payment was due last year. You don't want to be in debt with the Dawn. Wow, I feel so bad for Viola. It's inexcusable. Huh? I mean, she did probably she probably did help murder someone though. I don't think so. There are two things well, that I I mean, in a sense of I mean, prior to this thing, I don't think so. These two things that I consider inexcusable: poisoning and betrayal. Only a coward would hurt people using either of these tactics. Is everything all right, Nick? We should get going. Right after we finish our espresso. Yeah. I won't need to convince Viola of anything else, so I guess I can get rid of this. Repair bill thrown into the trash. I feel bad for her. She really wanted mm. to be... Aww. That's that's a shame. Fuck off! Yeah, what do you want? You want to talk to me? All right, fine. Okay, maybe he's here now. We're getting all the loose ends done. Oh, God, here he is. Phantom BRB. Um, Mr. Armstrong. Ah, good timing. I was hoping to find you here. We like to ask you a few questions. Oh. What? Oh, well, he Phantom's not here any... either. Well, he has got anything to say to you, fellas. Ah, I can't do a tiger sound like uh, Phantom. It's Zinny Up. Who you call it, Zinny Up? Come out from under the table already, Maya! Okay. Hand it over. W what? You wanna play a game with me? I'd recommend that. The medical papers now. Uh oh. I think he wants Viola Cadaverini's papers back. He knew about that? Oh shit. Y you mean. This the million dollar medical paper? Phoenix. <laughs> you know, you think he would learn after being punched in the dick, tased in the dick. <laughs> you think he would learn by now? No, he never learns. He can uh, I wish stop showing your hand. <laughs> Tigra's like Bruh. Miss Cadaverini trusted you. That's why she said that she helped you. Forget about it. That girl's dumber than an eggplant. What? Oh. Yo! Looks like he's mm. gonna become cadaverific. Wow, what a fucking asshole. She really liked you, dude. Oh, even if she was a part of a mafia group. God damn. You just wanna know what's sad? Now I'll tell you what's sad. And ain't only her face. She thinks she's got power because she's Bruto's little girl. Now that's sad. I uh -oh. <laughs> don't think that's what she's been doing. She's been trying to help you. Hey, 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 Sky, do you smell that? I smell bullshit. It, no, Sky, you know what that smells like? That smells like hubris. Oh, God. Hubris? Didn't know Don Tigre was shopping around for concrete papers, right? I can't let you have these papers. Tomorrow in court. 
I'm going to expose what you did to get the one million you used to pay this off. Are you crazy or something? I don't care if you want to give it to me or not. There's two of us here. You got that, too. Are you si- <gasps> All right, I'm here. Uh, <sighs> wah, wah, wah. Is he? He's threatening me. Man, Phoenix, if only we didn't come to this because oh, I'm so mad. Angry. Actually, Hunter, can you do the French? The, the oh yeah, voice? this is the second time we were doing this sort of thing. I remember a uh, fucking okay. what's that girl's name? With with her being part of the mafia group too, who tried to kill us in the in the trailer. Oh, the fucking what? The act the one in the acting style. Yeah, uh, I forget her name. Yeah, the uh... thug. D. Vasquez. Yeah, D the Vasquez, yeah. This is almost the same thing. Oh, Use the lawyer oui. badge? Got it. Oui, oui. Mr. Armstrong. Forgive me. Désolé. I cannot argue with him. I hate this. Everything about this I hate. Big same. Oh! Whoa! Uh, uh, <laughs> that really hurt. He fucking punched. Is that all you got? I'll be taking those papers now. Wait, what are you gonna stop doing this? Ah, I'm sure. Oh, get that. Strong. Get that lighter. No. Oh, hey, Phantom. Welcome back. Hello. How you doing, Hello, honey boy? I'm doing all right, honey bun. How yes. about you? I'm really this thirsty, but we're almost done here with the investigation. Need to hydrate. I will. I will after this. Wait. Hydrate or dehydrate, guy. Phoenix. By blind him with your competence. <laughs> that was so stupid. Well, I shouldn't have let oh. my guard down. Hydrate oh. now! I will. Those medical papers were vital evidence. Gumshoe! Oh. Well, Detective I Gumshoe! Like, I like how Discord cut him off for me, so he went, oh! <laughs> You think you're gonna stop me, Kappa? Beat it! Hey, Sky, the stream is lagging again. Yeah, super. I will get it. Yeah, I think because of me, because of me being on Wi-Fi now, it's probably a little. Huh? Whoa! Oh. Come on, Gump, go keep it together. Right, get out of here! Leave this guy to me. I think the roaring is really fucking your mic up. What? Sometimes your mic, after your little, your big tiger roar, your, your microphone adjusts itself, apparently. <laughs> I think it auto-adjusts itself for it you. not to do that. But it's doing it. It doesn't listen. Go, pal, and take this! Ooh. You get hurt. Who's gonna look after Maggie, huh? Oh, I feel so bad for him. Uh, uh, all right, thanks, Gumshoe. Wait, Nick, don't leave me behind! All well, right, you're here. Was this hand tossing in the anime? I don't remember. I'll get even with that guy tomorrow. In court. Tender Lender is going down. <laughs> he, just, he just pulls He just pulls out a gun and aims right. it at Phoenix. I will save it. We were oh, gonna I, save. I need to consult the anime. I hope there's like an awesome gumshoe versus when I'll be getting water. Right I will be with. getting water. I will. Let me save in these three I spots. Right. I am. Right. Oh my god! I'll be right back. Jesus. Always sunny in Philadelphia. Episode title card: Phoenix takes down an entire business. <laughs> Phoenix versus the Italian mafia. I I hope I need to check the anime now because I I hope that Gumshoe gets in a fist fight with Furio Tigre. That sounds awesome. Fucking some Yakuza bossy music starts playing. I mean, they're both big guys of somewhat bulky builds. I'm sure they can throw hands. Just imagining Dick Gumshoe doing the uh, Kiru punch that everyone memes. The tiger Whoa! drop. <laughs> you mean the tiger drop, which would be pretty perfect against this guy? Yeah, right? 
you get one of the fucking awesome oh, boss shit, scenes from it? like six alone theory of beauty starts playing mr shakedown theme oh, mr shakedown God damn it. Yakuza soundtracks go hard. They do go hard. They always do. They got to go hard, yo. I'm I'm a big fan of Sixes. I think Sixes probably has like the best themes. Ah, oh, they do by a little bit. Damn, they got lucky at the end there. Especially uh, <laughs> Korean Virgil's theme is pretty raw. Good franchise. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for eight. When that trailer drops, I'm gonna freak out. Guy needs to play. I don't even care if it's like turn based, as I because I learned from Like a Dragon that the turn based is actually. I don't think she ever awesome. play that just because I can only imagine the fucking backseating that would go on here. How do you backseat <laughs> it? It's punch guy and guy dies. Be ridiculous. <laughs> what, what honestly I, what, though, I honestly think that she would enjoy Judgment more. I think she would enjoy the main character more than. Uh, I mean, uh, I love Kiru with all my heart. But I, I think, think that she would like the main character of Judgment more. I think she would enjoy like a dragon the well, best I mean, because yeah, it's, it's of the whole. Really up to her if she's really into those kind of games, because I, I think she would like like. A it dragon might be appealing to one person, might not be appealing to everybody. You know, did the second that's... one come out already? I forget. For like, uh, yeah, a yeah, yeah, Lost yeah. Judgment. Yes. Oh yeah, I did yeah. come out. I haven't played it yet because I'm waiting. Me like, either. Why he says like a fucking psychopath? Because that's not happening anytime soon. Oh well, I got Dwink. <laughs> You oh, got what done? And I went potty, and we're good to go, right? You hydrate. Yeah. Yep. Oh, this guy, time to switch over to okay. Splatoon now. Okay. This is probably, this is probably mm -hmm. one of my favorite trials in um, Trials and Tribulations. Good morning, Mr. Wright. Hi, Good morning, Good morning, Maggie. So, what do you think is going to happen today, sir? Yesterday's session didn't go so well. No fucking shit. And it I ended on a giant really sus. That's true. And we still haven't solved a single part of it yet. Are you okay, Nick? No. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I saw that! That little flash of doubt in your eyes! N no, that wasn't doubt. That was, uh, determination! Why hey, don't I believe you? Yeah. It's nearly time, Maggie. You better get going to the defendant's seat. Roger, don't let me down, Mr. Wright. I'm counting on you. Okay. Blaze got a whole call. Hey, thing. pal! Whoa. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Quit stressing Maggie out. She doesn't need that. Uh, how did you know she was stressed? I was watching through the doorway. Um. Oh. Okay, Mr. Boyer Shoe. You look like you lost your case already. Show a bit of confidence, will you, pal? Oh, finally. Yeah, maybe this will help. Y the... Have you taken up ar aromatherapy, too? Not in a million years, pal. Don't tell me you don't remember this thing. Hmm, come to think of it, that doesn't look like one of those aromatherapy bottles. This is the small bottle that turned up in Trisbian's kitchen a couple of days ago. Wow, look at all these little bottles. Oh, they're aromatherapy oils. He's got so many, they're overflowing on the floor. Hey, wait a minute. There's one bottle that's different from all the others. Well, what do you know? And it doesn't have a label either. And it doesn't smell. We finally got the analysis results back from the lab. I'm going to guess it's the medication. Probably. So what is it? Is it the poison? I, we already have the poison. I'm afraid not, pal. It's uh, yeah. medication. There we yeah. go. There we go. Medication? Yeah, if he is. Topical. For ears, you mean. Oh. 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 Uh. uh screen? Yeah, yes. it's completely. Oh my god. Uh, is it so getting worse? <laughs> uh. A little bit. You, you, you could try stream it at a lower quality if you, you can. It's just after you beer. I am at the lowest. Oh no, well, we could do frame rate at 30. Yeah, I would be at 30. 30. That might resolve some issues. Because it's at if the it lowest doesn't... setting. You can only stream at 720 it, here. If it doesn't, check to see if you have any uh, things running on playback. Like I don't have anything stream. running. 
It, it looks fine. After yesterday, I'm not running anything I, it, else. It also, it also lags up when there's like lots of screen shaking. And because stuff also remember, I'm running on Wi-Fi, people. <laughs> That's why I, I have yeah. to do, do it every fucking time now. Yeah. No, it's instead of fine. instead of doing it once every stream, I have to do it like five million times during stream. Don't worry about it. It's fine. That was Glenn Elg's ear medicine doing in the. Oh, what was Glenn Elg's ear medicine doing in the kitchen? The victim's ear medicine found covered in unidentified fingerprints in the kitchen. I could take it, guess. Uh, what about the un unidentified fingerprints? Anything on that? Someone screwed up, so they only had time to analyze the contents of the bottle. <gasps> Another hour, and they might have gotten something on the prints, but. Huh, that's going to weaken its impact as a piece of evidence. Okay, pal, this is it. Make sure that your defense is impregnable today, okay? Got it. Today's trial. I'm gonna expose that guy for what he's done. Or my name is a Phoenix Wright. No, it's a, uh, it's Don Tigre. <laughs> Don Tigre. Yeah. He's Don Tigre. I forget what his actual name is. I don't, I don't think it was Don Tigre. I think it was something Yerio. else. Of yeah, Furio Tigre. Tigre. Yeah. Oh, is now oh no! For the trial of Maggie Berard. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Ready and... Mm. <laughs> Yum. Yum. Everyone okay? Yep. No. Very good. Then we'll get underway at once. Okay. Yesterday, we heard the testimony of Mr. Victor Kudo. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about it. He claims to have witnessed the defendant putting powder into the victim's coffee. However, the witness's testimony was plagued with a number of problems. That's a nice way of putting it. If you, if you, if, um, if the you, mark on the rim is of the cup shows the victim drank from it, from it with his right hand. Is this still gonna be a fucking factor? Really? Thought we were over yeah. this fucking shit. Come on. I mean, no. Yeah, I mean, it is. But according to the old man's quote-unquote testimony, he picked it up with his left hand. If people are watching the the playback, you can exit the stream real quick and then re-enter it, and the audio will be. Oh, okay. You don't have to reset the stream, Scott. Not for this instance of that weird, where you just hanged up for like a few seconds. Thank you, Mr. Gnome. Furthermore, according to the witnesses, down. Judge, why are you in the other room? Oh no! Now it's really fucking bad. <laughs> Judge, come back to the courtroom. You're in the wrong courtroom. Come what? on. What is going on? Hello? There you go. There. Better. There what we go. What the hell is going on there? All right. They told you it was adjusting there. itself every time you did the roar. Get back in here, Grandpa. There we go. The victim was listening to the radio with an earpiece in his left ear. Yet the victim's left ear eardrum was ruptured, which made him effectively deaf in that ear. Man, that's such a mood, even on the left ear, too. Fuck it. Oh, oh man. Stop. <laughs> I wouldn't put that in my ear, though. Can't hear out of it. It's amazing how many contradictions a single case can have, huh, Nick? Wacky. Very wacky. <laughs> oh, there's my theme. Ha! <laughs> Allow me to enlighten you, Your Honor. The world, you see, keeps turning, and we must turn with it. <laughs> You've lost me already, Mr. Godot. Don't let the mysteries of yesterday mystify you today. Only losers think like that. I just want to ask something. Who, pe who people who played the game before, do y'all just ever, when you guys played it for the first time, do y'all just didn't continue on with this and just listen to the music for a while? It's really a vibe. Sometimes. I think you know, I, I did on Godot's, actually. I, I, I did that with I did that with the sixth game to process. Oh, I didn't even know there was a piano bit in here. Hello. Yeah, it goes. You know, I can't tell when, when Godot is shaking his head left to right if, he, if he's like nodding no or if he's like sniffing his coffee. It's like a jazz cafe. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. You've got to change with the times. That's one of my rules. Only for a few seconds. 
I do this a lot a with something. <laughs> Please! I do it all the time when I play games. If I like a jive, I'll just sit there for a while. A jive. The one, the one that got me most, and this is going to be like a really obscure thing, but there's a game on Steam called The Sexy Brutal. I swear to God. It's not a porn game. It's, I think I've seen that game before. No, it is not. It's 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 really really good. The soundtrack is just a bop. In fact, I think the entire game in somewhat focuses around the timing of the main soundtrack. It's really good. Uh, and I don't know if any, I don't know if anyone here has played Astral Chain, but the police station theme in that is also a fucking bop. And it's actually very interesting that it syncs up to the walking animation when you're walking in the police station. Are you implying that you've resolved these contradictions? You know the answers to these riddles? The old guy was just throwing seeds in here. He was also throwing us off the scent. Nope. Today I'll prove it. Very well. Let the first witness take the stand. The music stopped. Who's it, please, please, it gonna don't be? be? Oh, oh no. no! And you are already starting with some punches. Oh, bonjour! I am Jean Armstrong, the owner and agent of Los Trisbian Restaurant in Jambi. Oh my god, look at his back sprite. Damn, boy, he's thick! He got cake! No wonder why he runs a restaurant. Forgive me for asking, witness, but are you a woman? That's it, cancel the judge. Oh la la, monsieur, as you can see, I am the appeal to embark our gentleman! What? What is... Uh, um... On the day of the incident, you were in Trespia's kitchen, yes? Isn't that right? Where's your bonjour? <gasps> Everything feels right. Thank you, Sheila. He needs to take a car. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he told, he's totally unfazed. Doesn't anything intimidate this guy? No, he's just taking the coffee to calm his nerves. Very well, your testimony, please, witness. Please tell the court what happened that day at Treyas Bayan. <laughs> I swear to God. That's the worst way possible. You, you, you had to do that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> no, I'm skipping this. You don't get this. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong. No, nothing's, nothing's wrong. Everything is absolutely 110% fine. My name is Apollo Justice and I'm fine. Oh my god, already? <laughs> when did I happen? There were just two customers in my restaurant. I remember I was experimenting with some new art decor that day. Like having a large mirror between the tables, for example. Oh my god, that explains everything! Why? That's why oh. he thought it was on the left side! Oh, oh god damn it! Uh, are you kidding me? I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. You're gonna throw up. Oh, I'm on the case three blues. Yeah, perhaps that is what the old man was looking at. Oh no, now I'm like denying it now because he said it. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, it's like the mirror can explain the the miss the miss uh, thing about the, the the earpiece flip, but not the lack of another person. The cup, the ethers, and the glasses! You ought to have seen everything in the house, no? Do we have his testimony on hand? Or oh, we oh. Hey, on the ground, the mirror! The most enormous mirror! I wanna. Is there a. Is there uh. a. 
Uh, the, uh, no, no, not the floor plans. Where's that picture at? Here it is. That is... Where? Where's... I guess that is behind the... is the goddamn mirror. The thing that's like... Wait, go back to the picture. Oh. It might have been that th that picture behind uh, Glenn's body. I think I know where the picture is, Sky. I mean, the mirror is. I think it's that little part. This on the partition. Yeah, it's that. It's that behind thing up behind the behind the empty chair. I think is where the mirror is. <laughs> God, I have no I idea. Maybe it was up there and then it was taken down. I don't know. He could well, be that's making. That's what I'm saying. Up. I don't think that's a mirror. Whatever. And suddenly the mystery disappears. It is. Uh, why does it seem too easy? Like I said, the world keeps stirring, so. So roll with it. See, look, I would have agreed with him if he didn't emphasize that was it. <laughs> Explain the coffee cup in the earpiece conundrum. <clears throat> A mirror of water made everything appear back to front. What the heck? It's way too early in the morning for this to be happening to me. Now then, Mr. Light, you may begin your cross-examination. When you get the explanation, you want to punch a hole in something. Oh, God. I'm excited. I'm ready to fucking lose my mind. This <sighs> guy. Don't you want to go ape shit sometime? <laughs> <laughs> See, I was just too custom in my restaurant. Uh, I remember this very well. Well, it's a new art deco, it's that day. Having a large mirror <laughs> between the, the tables. Uh, I, I... Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna start pressing everything. Why the fuck not? Let's start. Let's begin this fucking horse race. We... And who were the two customers exactly? Man, of course, the young man who died, and the other not so young man. Hmm. You are referring to yesterday's witness, I presume. What about the other man, Maggie says he saw at the table. But something tells me Mr. Armstrong isn't planning to disclose his. Ex oh, right, because he owes him money. He owes him money, and that's why he wanted to. That's why he punched us in the dick. Right on the tip of your penis. We need some hard evidence first before we can bring him up, don't we? I guess I'll just have to try a different approach for the time being. <gasps> the matches will figure that out. But I don't. That's we not. Light his skin on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you were experimenting with Art Deco. How come I never heard about that before today? You're not familiar with the language of Ontario does I didn't play that Animal Crossing game, I'm sorry. I play this guy. Well I <laughs> have experience oh, you I have no 3DS. Well I have experience <laughs> decorating my house in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> please please stay on topic. Now why didn't you tell the court about this beforehand? But I did just a few moments ago. Um, excuse me, Mr. Armstrong? It's gonna be something stupid, right? Miss Deco, you mentioned. Are you referring to some sort of deco chore? What the fuck does that mean? What? Uh, oh my god. I'm, de I'm not entirely sure, actually. Sure. He could be making a uh, salt and No, a concentrated no. liquor resulting from heating or boiling a substance, especially a medicinal preparation made from a plant. Yeah, no, he's just dumb. That the culture in in, in the example what is that the culture is given to the patient. Yeah, no, he he, he doesn't always talk. This about. feels like it was supposed to be a pun in another language. If they had a hard time localizing. Yes. Yeah, mm. it's, a, it's a localized pun. No, no, Art Deco is a style design, Your Honor. He's talking about interior design. Walls, ceilings, carpets, that kind of thing. Oh, yes, of course, that deco. <laughs> I was trying to get smashed. <laughs> Alcohol. I was trying to achieve the more the feminine look for my restaurant. I was planning the most bold remodeling of la deco. Mm. 
How big of a mirror are we talking about here? Oh, something about four meters wide and three, about two meters high. Let's see, if one meter is about one yard. Holy glass and a frame. Woo me! Woo me, woo me. One meter, so like four yards? A foot equals whatever? So you cover the base, you fuck. <laughs> I was intending to install it on the ceiling of Injilay. Oh, that would fuck everyone up. I wouldn't do that. That okay. weird. Maybe. The ceiling? Was there a mirror on the ceiling? I don't remember. Sure, it's not. I know, but I decided not to go through with it in the end. That would have been a lot of money, too. What should I do? Should I ask him? Yeah, I want to know more about this mirror. Sure. Yeah. If you really had such a large mirror in the restaurant, someone would have noticed it. But there's nothing about a mirror in Mr. Kudo or Maggie Bird's testimonies. The blood! Objection! You did it ask, right? You only have yourself to blame because you're so sloppy or what? What? A mirror was delivered to Trispian the day before the incident. Really? As Mr. Armstrong testified, he was going to get some sort of design changes. Oh my god, please! And as it turned out, he didn't actually use the mirror in the end. Oh. So he didn't even use it. Why are we talking about it? This just doesn't add up. Even if a mirror was delivered to Trey Bien, it doesn't prove that it was in the restaurant on the day of the crime. You want to doubt someone, right? Look in the mirror. There was no mirror. Ah, uh, look under your chair. Oh. I put it there before the trial started. Oh, are you Oprah? You're giving me a free mirror? Nice. Yes. Why does it say you are an idiot written on it? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the forehead. With lipstick. I'm sure the person will get back to you will be dubious enough. Hmm. So the witness yesterday had seen the victim reflected in a mirror. No, I don't believe that at all. I, I can't even visualize that. I'm sorry. Normally, yeah. I'd expect people to know the difference between a reflection and a real object. Normally, as, norm as is normality coming to this. That's lame, right? Even for you. You're making this really hard for me. I hate you. Huh? Uh, are you trying to say that something's normal? It isn't possible. Is that it? Where does that leave the poor? Oh no, that's you. Where does that leave the poor Q-headed lawyer and the top-notch chick over there? And the ungodly cool guy with the mask over here. Well, right. Okay. Ugh, not the hair. I do not have a top nine. Ha! <laughs> Mr. Godot is correct. He does have a cool mask. Hi, <laughs> thank you. <gasps> Grandpa, a no! A lack of normality is no basis for discounting an argument. Bloom! Logic is one lode! Also, Mr. Also, right, let's not forget what the, sometimes your sister over there becomes possessed by a big titty ghost woman. Yeah, that doesn't make sister. sense. Sister? Everything? He would have seen everything in reverse? Hey, Nick, we should take a sec and think about what the old CD said in his testimony. How did he phrase it again? That boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the green lens on his specs. The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the green lens. I mean, by that logic, then yeah, it would be his right ear he was wearing it on. No question. You can lock me if I'm wrong. It was his left ear, without a doubt! Oh. And then he used the same hand to pick up the cup! His left hand! If he saw everything described reflected in a mirror... ...then everything he said s saw on the left was actually on the right! What? Yeah. yeah. It's... it's not a... it's not a... ...vertical... Oh! Like... No, okay, we're thinking of the... The mirror. Like, it, you're thinking if the mirror was in the table, it just flips him sitting in that spot on the table. But what actually would happen is that if he was sitting on the right, he would actually be sitting on the left. Everything. 
he said he saw on the left. So a lot of this stuff doesn't make sense. And that clears up all the problems with his testimony, I guess, or does it? It's kind of hard to believe everything's the fault of a mirror, but... Do you think old CD saw everything through a reflection? If he did, it would explain all the contradictions in his testimony. But that just makes the situation worse for Maggie. There's got to be something in that old man's testimony. We've just got to dig deeper. Yeah, no, I don't... It all happened, there were just two customers. I remember I was experimenting with a new Art Deco, having a large mirror between the tables. Yeah, oh, perhaps I, I, that I, is I, what I, old man was looking at. I don't think he's referring to the partition as between the tables. I think if... Look at the floor plan. Like, I think he literally means between the two, like, rows of tables. So, like, between that table and the one that's, like, south of it. Like here? Yes. I think that's what he might have meant. Because there's already a partition, right? Yeah, but how would the, how would the old man see it, then? How would the old man see, see the guy drinking if there was a mirror here? It's one of those, like... See through but mirrors? It, yeah, but it... it no, because it wouldn't be in reverse. You wouldn't be able to... See-through windows don't put everything backwards. Two-way. Two-way mirror. Won't do that. I don't think... I, I... That wouldn't make sense, though. I'm not a confused. Confusion. Look, all I'm I saying is confused. that he's thinking about a mirror is bullshit. Yeah, that's why I say two mirror, two way mirrors don't look, don't don't work like that. Okay, well. If you have something that's in between those two tables, he wouldn't be able to see the guy drinking the coffee and listening to the radio. He would see himself. Drinking his, what do you call it, Javachino and spilling the vase. Perhaps this is what that old man was looking. No, there's no what's, way. What's the. Everything he had have seen would have been reversed. So what. When does... the incident occurred, I broke the vase in my seat. I'm sorry. That's all we sorry. fucking get from his testimony. What am I looking for here? Trying to prove that the mirror is bullshit? If he... Okay. So... Check Glenn's profile. Okay. Okay, no, no, hold on. He said that he was the same side. Hold on, where is that? Where is, is, is it this here? It was the last one where it, it, we flash back to Victor's testimony. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, maybe you're right. Alright, yeah. Uh, press. Da -da -da -da. Everything will be in reverse. Hey, Nick, we should take a second think about that old CD set in his testimony. How did he phrase it? The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the green lens of his of his specs. Which would have been his left. There's no question, you can lock me up if I'm wrong. It was his left ear without a doubt. And then he used the same me. hand to pick up the cup. His left hand. But he couldn't hear what's on the fucking radio because his left the ear was is, deaf. The point is, if if he picked up the cup with his right hand, it would be reflected as his left. If he put the earpiece in his right ear, it would be in his left ear. But the ear, the the headset is already on the left side, normally.
So if it really was a mirror that was there, he would have also seen the headpiece reflected. But it wasn't. Wait a minute, what? But didn't they just say everything was on the left side? Oh! Yeah. Glenn's headset is already on the left side. It is. I see where you're getting at. Yes. So present Glenn? It's either Glenn or Victor. Uh, Victor's testimony. But yeah, I see Glenn. It's Glenn. <clears throat> yeah, because... I see because where you're the... getting at. Yeah, 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 yeah. The coffee cup, the earpiece, and the HMD. Let's think back over Mr. Kudo's testimony for a second, shall we? God, fucking I'd love to That boy was time. wearing this earpiece on the same side as the green lens of his spec. The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the... Yeah, okay. No country, you can lock me up wrong. It was his left ear without a doubt. So, to summarize, we were told both the HMD and the earpiece were on the victim's left side. Now, if Mr. Kudo was all that, saw all that as a reflection in a mirror, it means both the H HMD and the earpiece were actually on the victim's right side. Exactly, Mold! You're similar, sure! Now that you think about it, it is not so hard, no? Unfortunately, that's where we run into a monumental contradiction with facts. If Mr. Kudo really did see everything in a mirror, why is it that the HMD is now on the wrong side of his head? Yeah, I get it now. Yeah. Order! Order! Mr. Wright is correct! For some reason, I'm mentally thinking that, like, this is from the testimony, but it's not from the testimony. That's how they found him. Look, look at the crime scene photo again. Yeah, because it because it is on the. Yeah. Oh no! Wait. Oh, oh no! I I think that's just an image that pops up every once in a while. But yeah. Yeah, but no, it it like the profile picture is accurate to the. Wh how we found him. Yes. It wasn't based on any testimony. No. That's if what they I. Did that that would have been a cruel joke. I know that that's what was throwing me off the whole time. No. Okay. Well, that makes more sense now. If the witness genuinely observed the victim reflected in a mirror, then we would expect the victim's eyepiece to have been over his right eye. Objection. Thank you, Sheila. So, how bitter. Right. Good. You should have a taste of this bitterness. It'll calm you down in no time. Nothing uh, good. Are we talking about your coffee or something completely different? Yes. You don't the witness. You all don't understand the way the witnesses think. And you do? How he thinks? You remember this, I presume? The I broke the vase. Sorry. Apol apology. Let I mean, Mr. Kudo's sworn testimony. Exactly. The old man has one very grievous habit, other than growing speed. The more of an impression something makes, the more muddled his mind makes. What's the most striking thing about Mr. L? The beanie. Here, yeah, it's the victim's right here. Damn it. And that's my point. The old man is right again. Mr. Eggs, L, L, H, and D made a big impression on the old man. Thank you, Sheila. <sighs> I saw the FTC's little new fangled spectacles he was wearing. Oh yes, they were both on his left ear, do you hear? His left ear. Ha! Well, that's right. <laughs> that's the worst but best impression of Kudo ever. Oh, I wasn't... Wow, I really thought he was old CD for a minute there. Godot's good. Exactly, I did the impression Enough! of Kudo. I disagree that yesterday's witness was irresponsibly rash in much of his testimony. No shit. Bad luck, Nick. Us. Looks like the boil of a contradiction you found is just a rash. Wow, it that's is. a nice way of putting it, Maya. A mirror can be beaten by a handful of seeds, nor can it lie. I don't know. So, exactly what was the old man looking at? I could throw a coconut seed. Actually, aren't there some seeds that are, like, actually massive? 
Yeah, like avocado seeds. Yeah, those fucking things. Chuck it yeah, out of That'll nasty. break a mirror. <laughs> then you got peach seeds. It's just a big pit. Fucking. So what would he be? You could tell your argument is 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 um flimsy. There are plenty of seeds which you can break mirrors. Listen, Mr. Armstrong. Go on, tell the court we're all ears. This turns into a giant ear. I can explain, please, if you will look at the plans of the restaurant. Oh, okay. We're getting actual, actual things of this. Alright. Now the floor plans come into play. Alright, let's go. Let's see. Hello! Is everyone sitting comfortably? I'm still doing the neck thing. Lum... <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it! La Miro was in the middle of the restaurant, dividing the two halves. There's only one seat from which you have seen an image of Levikrom. Okay. Oh. But that's not where he was, though. Did he testify to where he was? He said he was here, right? Did he I think so? Think so. We don't have testimony to that effect. Man, I wish we could remember what the fucking restaurant looked like. That was the last seat at the table next to Levy Crumbs. That was where the old man was sitting. Do we have... Surely we must have something to change what we've said. We need to completely destroy this argument. After the terrible incident occurred, I moved the mirror so it was not in the way. How random. Right? It's like, oh no, there's a dead body. Gotta get this mirror out of the way. But naturally, I did not touch anything else. Not really. Okay. I mean, it depends on how much the mirror is. And I mean, they a, don't want it's the- It's a small restaurant. Have you seen the place? It screams wasted income all over. Yeah, that's what I thought. The old man said he was sitting at the bottom. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so... If not... Hmm. Hmm. I see no problems with the explanation we have just heard. But unfortunately, we don't have any testimony in our evidence that says otherwise, though. Maybe but have... I distinctly remember him saying he was... Not there. He was, uh, not in that seat. From the table next to the victim, Mr. Kodo could have seen the victim in the mirror. Oh, shit. But a naughty little cockot by him, confusing other men like this. What? Oh, oh, oh. Oui, oui, monsieur. It's French for cuck. Oh. Don't worry about it. Nice. We can keep, we can keep up, except for the guy breaking out with the cold sweat over there again. <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> he hates him. You said you didn't touch hates... anything else apart yes, from the mirror? <laughs> Are you quite sure about that? Volunteers, of course! Well, well Mr. Hyde, your cross-examination, if you please. I just like help me. Help! Also, me up. Huh? I thought you were making tacos. About no, food. I'm not making tacos. I'm making. Paellas. Mm -hmm. Making tacos, right? No. Bur He's making burritos, obviously. <laughs> the mirror. I'm having tendies. He's making mac and cheese, and no one can stop him. No! <laughs> Don't. Stop. I'll do that tomorrow. Phone. No! Oh, well, good thing I'm not gonna be around tomorrow, kick. He's having a steak quesadilla? Mirror, it was in the middle of the of the restaurant dividing the two halves. There is only one seat from which you could have seen an image of the victim. That was the seat at the table next to the victims. That was where the old man was sitting after a terrible accident occurred. Uh, but naturally, I did not touch anything. Okay, let me just start pressing shit, I guess. Macintosh, stop it! So, run by- run this by me again. The mirror was here, correct? We? Oui. We? Oui? Really? 
because I know if I were you, I wouldn't have put a mirror there. It would be... <laughs> See, that's what I'm thinking mentally. I'm like, that's just in the fucking way. Especially when you have waitresses going back and forth. Objection. Who's talking, right? What? You're obstructing my view among the other things. But, but, this is my That's seat not... in the courtroom! Grandpa! Yes, Tommy, but I give you the impression that you're the only customer. Then why would it have mirrors? So you see yourself. But you can see why? other people. I'm probably placing a mirror in that spot would probably be in the way. <laughs> Unlike you, oh. Unlike you, right? Yeah, but it would be in the way for wait waiters and wait. Well, mainly waitresses, I guess at this point. I tell you, monsieur, the mirror was there in the middle of the restaurant. There's only one seat. And where would that be? Oh la la! Look at you, Lynn, look towards me. <laughs> I always attract the younger boys. Maybe I should keep you in suspense a little longer. What? Mr. Armstrong, tell the court what you know at once! I'm curious. Humor me. Oh, okay. I attract the older ones too, you know. Oh, my. <laughs> so, shall I tease you too? Oh, he's a very proud man. <laughs> Respect, <Why>? I guess. <laughs> Much respect. Thank you, Sheila. I wish I had that confidence. Aww. Oh! I'm already seeing a very hot someone. I'm afraid they'll be waiting a long time. All right then. I bet she has um she has mocha cream skin and cappuccino perfume. Hi, going. I will tell you, there was only one seat from which you all could have seen. Then it was. This. So why can you only see the victim from that particular seat? Monsieur, it is obvious, no? You look at the plans, you will understand. The victim would have been reflected in the mirror like so. Now, if he mentioned that he was sitting south of this mirror, it would make sense why he wouldn't have seen a... Uh, our tiger right. friend here. Because the mirror was blocking him. But I don't know if the mirror would... The mirror could have... Should have reflected, um... Tigre, right? If this uh, were the case? Uh, depends on the angle you look at. I guess. That's true, I guess. But either way, if he was sitting down here, he would not be able to see Tigre, right? Yeah. Because we're trying... Because I, I don't know what we're trying to do here. I don't think you would have been able to see Tigre in either happenstance in this case. You think so? If the mirror was there. I mean, like, if he was sitting where, where he's claiming. Wouldn't it reflect off of yeah, this and Yeah, I don't think this? you would see Tigre. Aww. Hmm. If you were sitting at that table next to him, you would see everything, no? Become his god. So that's the seat old CD was sitting in on that day. When the poisoning happened, the old man was sitting at the table next to the victim. See? I'm not sure if that's right, though. But I, I, I thought... thought it was the bottom left. That's, that's, what, that's what we all thought. Why does that seem kind of odd? Did you move the mirror while Mr. Kudo was off calling the police? We oui. Just the moment. I carried it out of the restaurant scene. Well, that's not... You moved a huge mirror like that all by yourself? I got the matters, huh? <laughs> What can I say? I know how to pick things up, Anzo. Uh, uh. <laughs> Kudo actually laughed at something! <laughs> Well, given the witness's physique, I suppose it is possible. It is possible with him. Did you move anything else from the crime scene, Mr. Armstrong? I look at the obling type, no? Now, 
Patrick. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> I touch nothing except the mirror. Mr. Wright, is there something the witness has said that doesn't match the crime scene? Yeah, there is. I just can't put my finger on what it... Hmm? Oh. Something from a case of heart burns, this way. I have just a single... An oil with gold and different frankincense. A few jobs for coffee. Hola. No, you don't. Ew. Focus, Phoenix. Breathe. I need to ignore Ew. those two and just find some evidence. Ew. Ew. It is pretty strange, though, isn't it? I mean, Ew. nobody mentioned anything about a really large mirror. Ew. You think someone would have, but Maggie didn't, and neither did old CD. Yeah, that is weird. Then the only logical explanation is that there was no mirror inside Trabian that day. Now I've just got to prove. Okay, so we're going. So we're. So in this testimony, we're proving that the mirror did not exist that day. That's what we're focusing on. Ignore everything else oh. for now. The mirror was in the middle of the restaurant, dividing into two halves. There was only one seat from which you could have seen the image of the victim. That was the seat at the table next to the victim. That was where the old man was sitting. After a terrible incident occurred, I moved the mirror so it was not in the way, but naturally I did not touch anything. still here oh yeah remember his testimony said he broke the vase where he was sitting mm -hmm. uh, you're right but is that part of this though that's gotta make sense though i hate that okay I hate that. so I now that. it becomes <laughs> are we ahead of the game or are we on uh, track i don't know uh Present the crime scene photo here? Yeah! <laughs> uh, yeah! This piece of evidence contradicts with the testimony we have heard, Your Honor. The crime photo? Yes, this photo clearly shows something that theoretically should not exist. Uh-oh. What on earth do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? Not exist, huh? Sounds like you're describing yourself, right? Sick burn, bro. Now, then, if the defense would please clarify its statement, what is this something that should not exist in this photo? This right here. I think it's pretty obvious that this is what should not be in the picture. The face. possible connection does that have with this witness's testimony? Your Honor, I'm telling you that there should have been no vase on this table because it very clearly contradicts with this fucking evidence that I knew that was going to be useful. I fucking hate, hate everything. God. There is one thing that was clearly demonstrated by yesterday's testimony. Mr. Kudo broke the vase that was on the table where he was sitting. And yet... As the court can see, there is an unbroken vase on the table next to the victim. Why? Because Kudo was not, in fact, sitting at the table next to the victim at all. Don't be an idiot, right? That's impossible. The seat's the only one Kudo could have seen from the victim's reflection plan. Exactly. Hmm? There is only one conclusion we can draw from this contradiction. There was no mirror in Trabian that day. Your testimony, Armstrong, is an elaborate lie. Don't touch the 
fight. Obviously, the witness is cleaned up the base. While the police are taking their time getting to the crime. No, the because remember, he didn't touch nothing else that day. That was his testimony. Unfortunately, Godot, that doesn't quite work for me. Armstrong already testified to the contrary. In his own words, I quote, he did not touch anything else except the mirror. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god! Well, uh, witness, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> it's not like Kermit having an aneurysm. <laughs> I was right, there was no mirror in the restaurant that day. In light of this revelation, we return back to the original problem! Yeah, that's the part I don't know. Why did the victim have an earpiece in an ear which he couldn't hear? I don't know. Maybe... It wasn't... Mm. You only get the bunch of Oh, like, shit. There's no turning back. If you want to claim the medals, there's right. The problem, then this problem is all yours. How would you explain what the old man saw? If I can answer this, and I'll be at that much closer to the truth, I can feel it. Are you gonna be okay? Can you really solve this contradiction, Nick? There's more than just this one contradiction, Maya. What do you mean? Remember what Maggie told us? There was another man at the victim's table. Oh. So we're gonna... Are we are we merging this in with trying to make the tiger there now? Is that what we're doing? And there was a sample CD on the victim's table. It all flies in the, in the face of Mr. Kudo's testimony. And I think I know the reason why nothing in this case is adding up. Well, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Yes, Your Honor. The reason behind all the contradictions in, in Mr. Kudo's... Mr. Kudo made a mistake. The ear doctor made a mistake. Victim was a phony? What? The doctor made a mistake, Mr. Kudo. The victim was a... Wait, what? Uh, the, the doctor the did not make a, a, make a mistake. There's no fucking way. I don't think anyone made a mistake, so that... Huh. Mr. Kudo made a mistake. Victim was a phony. How? I mean... There were two people there with the CD there. We know it's the tiger, and it was we... Glenn Elg. Are we saying that Firo Tigre was also dressed up as Glen Elg? Is that what we're saying? I don't want to believe that shit. Because that why would he go there dressed as that? He put in the wrong, the, on the wrong ear because he didn't know. And I don't know. Fucking. Seems like a reach, man. Didn't, that... didn't, Kudo, didn't Kudo claim that there was only one person there? Everyone but Maggie claimed that there was only one person there. I want to say oh. Kudo made the mistake because where he was sitting, he wouldn't be able to see Tigre. What if Kudo? I mean, what if what if Tigre killed Glenn? We're already at that point where we assume that Glenn. I mean, let me back it up. I think we're already assuming that Tigre did kill Glenn. Yeah. But we're sure. trying to make it so. We're trying to convince the court in some way with the, with with where we're going is that there were two people sitting there, Glenn Elg and but we're not. I don't think we're going to mention Tigre at this point. We have to convince the court there were two people there, because only Maggie okay. said there were two people there. Everyone else said there was only one person. No, needless to say, Armstrong would only say one because his hands are tied, and depending and I think where Kudo was sitting, he couldn't see El Tigre. So what if Tigre killed Glenn and then pretended to be it? But that wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make sense either, though. So what would it be in the mistake that Kudo or... The five minutes when 
when the old man went to go to the phone, they had to have put all the evidence in Maggie's pockets. I don't think that there was any other reason for the, to do anything else. I think Kudo made a mistake. It had to have been. I don't. I don't. I don't think Tigre would have a reason to dress up as Glen Elg. Because he he was there for money, because that was the right. day that 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 Glen Elk had to pay, what was it, a hundred thou? Five hundred thou? I forget how much. Either way, he that was the day he was supposed to give Tigre the money, and he was right. hoping for the winning of the lottery to pay that back. So he had to have listened to the radio. Huh. Well, let's just go for it then. I want to say Kudo made a mistake, but that's but that still doesn't make sense though. The only the only mistake he would have made was that he couldn't see Tigre. That two people were sitting there, but I don't know. This is hard because there's 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 no way that that would be a phony phony Glen Elg. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think this was going to come back and be an issue. I thought we, were, we just didn't care about what the old man said. Now here we are caring about what here the old man know. said. The key elements the of the man. case depend on what the fucking old man saw. I fucking hate it. This guy is a piece of shit. He's still fucking with you even though he stopped right. testifying. Okay. Now listen about this. If we say the victim was a phony, how, they're gonna expect us to prove that. And like, what can we prove out of these three? Huh? Scott, think about what Kudo said about the waitress. He saw her put something in the coffee. Yeah, that's right. But we're not talking about that though. Was... We're talking because what. What Phoenix is trying to do is bring Maggie's testimony into play, where there were two people there. Keep in mind that these statements are in regard to Kudo's perspective. The reason behind all the contradictions in Mr. Kudo's testimony is because he has Alzheimer's disease. I don't... That's why Grandpa was told to go feed the pigeons. Can we even prove the doctor made a mistake? Well, the pigeons, guy. Like, what do we have evidence-wise that could connect, mm -hmm. that could prove any of the Simpson case? We we can't. Uh, Trabian, the bag is empty, and then we have this. Victim's ear medicine found covered in an identified picture. But they found... They... F I believe that when... the I don't think it's on the autopsy report. But they did find the medicine in his ear. So it isn't the doctors made a fucking mistake. Because I think that's what Gumshoe said yesterday. Hmm. I think Kuda made a mistake. Well, let's it, it, find it, out. I, I, don't, I don't think the victim was a... Wait a minute. The vict... No, 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 no. Yeah, Kuda made a mistake. He's another victim. Clearly, Kudo made a mistake. Mr. Tlight, you're the one who brought up all these contradictions. And? I'm trying to tell the old man a mistake. We can grapple this cave right now with the guilty verdict. How about it, Mr. Wright? Should I just declare your client guilty? Oh, come on. No. Is it the fucking pony? There's no well, way. What? Click. I'll give you one more chance, Miss Ride. So then Think it... carefully. Oh, okay. God, How is it... There's... You know what? There's... Whatever. I'm just going to go with it because well, it can't the be the doctor dark. made a mistake, obviously. The case is riddled with contradictions. Yeah, there is one very simple answer that clears them all also, up. Also, fuck this game. They put in That's the fucking... They put in that music to make you think you got it right, and they're like, no, that's stupid, shut up. The incident Mr. Kudo witnessed and the incident the victim experienced were two completely different events? What? 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 Wait! What if someone set up a mirror for Kudo to make him think he saw stuff? What? Wait, no. What? 
What? Yes, the victim that Mr. Kudo saw wasn't Mr. Glenn Elg at all? Hey, what? Hey, what? Huh? It. it was an imposter? A phony pretending to be Mr. Fuck. Obviously, unlike the victim, there was nothing wrong with the imposter's left eardrum. That's how he ended up wearing the earpiece in his left ear by mistake? Dumb as shit. Wait a minute. So they set up a phony guy for, to, so they could have uh, Kudo be a witness? And not only Kudo, Armstrong as well. Yeah, but Armstrong's arms are tied. We can't even consider Armstrong to be a, to be a confident Positive. witness. Because yeah. remember, he punched me in the dick yesterday. Yeah. So I guess they did all that to be like, yeah, kudos. To oh, you know what? The only, the only person who is legitimately, in quotation marks, a witness is Kudo. Armstrong could have his hands tied. Maggie fainted. And that mystery girl, we have no fucking idea who. I mean, we know who it is, but the the the, the court doesn't even find that to be legitimate right now. Maybe they, maybe they did all this so that way they could eliminate Kudo as a witness. So they would give him, like, the wrong information. Maybe they thought he... he I don't know. This is fucking weird. He's gonna spit out the coffee. <laughs> Order! Order of the court! Settle down or I'll clear the courtroom! Again? <laughs> Why, Gramps? Why did you clear out the door, huh? Oh, shit! What did you say?! Did I? Yes. Someone pretended to be Glenn Elg and acted out the whole coffee poise? That's, that sounds a little extreme. What an elaborate What? Man. Yeah, Hunter? You keep in mind that, um... Yeah? Actually, I don't know if it's worth saying that. I, basically, like, they did this so that if Maggie did spe talk about the crime, a media debt would be casted on her because she was the accused. And people in these courtrooms do not believe the accused's testimony often at all. No, but you have to remember, this wouldn't make sense in general. Why would you impersonate someone... When you're gonna have, when when you're clearly gonna meet them in general to get their money, why would you even begin oh to do that? Face. Look at that dog. <laughs> that and and Maggie has nothing to do with this. Literally, she's the only one who said that there were two people on at that fucking seat. And if 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 the old man where he actually sat wasn't able to see Tigre, that would be it wouldn't have mattered. Because what Armstrong's we... arms are tied, and Kudo is literally the only true witness. And with so... them saying, "Take him, go get, go call the police," and he runs out of the store, they're they're just literally letting. I don't know. It it, it doesn't make sense to me why they would fucking go that far. It's weird to me. Yeah, it's kind of. I, I don't get it. Especially when the guy won. If. <laughs> Because that was a day... I don't know. It, it just seems a little weird to me. I feel like... I, I, I don't understand this case already. <laughs> yeah, this case is weird. Like, is it just me, though? Like, that doesn't make sense no, to me. That, that doesn't make sense. Honest to God, that's very weird. I feel like this is reaching. Maybe to create a false snare? All for the yeah, express yeah, but... purpose of creating a witness out of one coup. Yeah, but he would have been a witness regardless because the situ- He still died! Glenn Elg is I... not alive! In a I... restaurant that's already indebted to the guy that committed the murder. The boy so, is I mean... fucking dead! I don't know and... why you need to create a witness when the witness would have seen it anyway and they told him to call the police and left. An empty ass restaurant with food that tastes like shit. So. Is it? Is it like? Li maybe I'm not thinking correctly, or this okay. case is a little confusing to me. Sky, here's a thought. 
What if Kuda wasn't at the restaurant when the original murder took place? Oh. Does that make any more sense? Oh. Because then in that case, the only other witness would have been Maggie, and Tigre would have been found out. So they had to redo the crime in order to set up a witness that would cast doubt on the accused, which they've made to be Maggie, through the planting of the evidence. She did get, she did pass out, wasn't that what happened? Yeah, yes. but yeah, but what I'm saying is she passed out. Armstrong said call the police. The five minutes that Kudo left, they probably planted all that shit on her when she passed out. Because remember, she was passed out for ten fucking minutes. So that what so probably what they did is they did she passed out, then they set up a fake murder and then to frame her. You know what? Keep going. You'll probably get a brainwave in a moment. Hey, this is fucking weird to me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! Maybe, maybe uh, you'll get your answer now, for God's Oh, Gato! My question, buddy! Let's fucking go! <laughs> maybe, maybe you'll get the answer now, Sky, so relax. I'm pissed! Why would anyone want to do that? Isn't it obvious? The thing Mr. Kudo was most insistent about was in his testimony was... That serving a Brahma Java Cheetah, but she put something in it. That serving girl, that's right. I remember her well. I, it's hard to believe, but... There was one and only one reason to show Kudo this fake poisoning. To show Maggie Bird in the act of poisoning yeah. the coffee. Yeah. No, that, yeah, she was passed out and they set up a fake murder to frame her. Just and they were extreme. They, they were trying to create a witness. Objection. Are you insinuating that the waitress in the old man's story was a fake as well? It's true there are other customers in the restaurant at the time, but... No, that's not true. Maggie testified to us in our little conversation that there was a woman there. No. It's also true that the chef was there. He would have noticed what was happening. But his like hands almost... are fucking tied. I like don't fucking like care what anybody says. Like he was almost in on it or something. I, I can't know. trust that guy as far as I can throw him. And that ain't no, far. That's right. Well, Whitner. If your restaurant really was the scene of such theatric, you would have known about it, correct? Oh, correct. Oh, oh no. la la! This is the most difficult for me. No. No, it's quite simple. All you have to do is testify. You are under oath, after all. Was there, in fact, a phony at, Tra at Trabian that day? The defense demands that Mr. Armstrong tell the whole truth about what happened. The defense's request for additional testimony is accepted. You will accurately explain in detail the events in the restaurant that day. Okay, here we go. Lovely commotion, El Gagamin, to my restaurant alone. I remember the old man arrived not long after him. There were no other customers. When he got word, he won the lottery on Elf become very excited. It was approximately five minutes later that the poisoning incident occurred. None, there was no time for the bully to do the acting. Five minutes? Just so we're clear, <clears throat> there was no mirror in the restaurant after all. This bottle, forgive me, your honor. Sounds like just phantom talking to himself. I lied <laughs> because I wanted the mess to be cleared up quickly. Yeah, this is You're what I sound like in my house alone. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I sound like when I'm I'm cooking in the kitchen and talking to myself. Oh, same, bro. Not now you know more of a uh, phantom's private life. There you go. At least he's not jacked where, he's... Perjury, Ms. where he makes curry for three days while being naked. All right, then. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I'm never letting that go after hearing that fucking interview. Ph Phantom will never be gacked, though. That's, that's the thing. I'm going to find that interview and post it in stream chat when I get the <laughs> chance. I swear to God. 
I will decide how to punish you later. <laughs> For now, we will hear your cross-examination. Miss Wright, if you please. Hmm, he took that perjury charge a bit too well. But I'm guessing he'll be in more serious trouble after this cross-examination. Alright, so we're going by... Alright, I, I do admit that having... Having a fake poisoning makes a little sense because of having seen a maid put something in would have that happen. It would have been perfect. It would have been perfect if the guy who they had pretended did and knew about the whole left ear shit. Are you gonna look at his eardrum? Ugh, gross. <laughs> I was thrown alone. I remember an old man arrived not long after him. There were no other customers. I'm just gonna push everything. There are two things I do want to press in here, so... Was he alone at his table as well? I saw him from the kitchen. Yet the defendant, Miss Bird, remembers it differently. She swears there was another man at the victim's table. Yesterday's witness was also also testified that the victim was alone. No, seeing your score right now reminds me of a coffee's bittersweet bite. What kind of coffee has he been drinking? It's not coffee, it's love. It's love that's bittersweet. Hearing Maya oh, say that makes her seem wise all of a sudden. Oh, my old man, you mean Victor Kudo, correct? Me, oui, he comes here often for my special coffee. I oh, drank no. your coffee once, Mr. Armstrong. Uh oh. That's special. <laughs> Worth a just for the experience. Oh my god! Oh, oh you make me so happy, Monsieur. You're most welcome anytime. I would rather cut out my tongue and feed it to my dog than drink another one sip. Oh, I said it was worth one sip and nothing more. <laughs> oh. Damn. So, so old Kudo arrived at the restaurant around the oh, same time yeah. as the victim. Maybe I should ask about his arrival. Yeah, because that's. Hold on. That Be last one makes me think. Do we have records of time? Uh, so I know that. Uh... So the victim's lottery thing starts at 1:30. He was pronounced dead between 1:30 and 2:30. April 3rd, on December 3rd was the day of the incident. There's a note saying meet with the tiger. And, uh... Yeah, see, experience oh. you must during 10 minutes of your life every Monday. So that closes the gap between 1.30 and 1.40. I would even say that it took place at 1.35, because it said that he was killed five minutes after he was discovered the winner. Let's check the time. We can check both of them. Out of curiosity, about what time was it when Mr. Kudo arrived? No. I don't remember, Monsieur. Fuck! I believe we were told by a witness yesterday. The crime was reported at 2.25 by a kind of scary old man, sir. I really I am talking to myself. Oh, was <laughs> that so? Crime was reported at 2.25, and if he said it took five minutes to get to a payphone, it would have been 2.20. Yeah. He was pronounced dead between... Was he already between... dead? Between 1.30 and 2.30 was the crime window. If Kudo got to the phone at 2.25 and took five minutes to get there, that means the lottery thing in Victor's story would have technically happened at 2.15 because five minutes after that it was poisoned, 2.20 and then he was immediately told to get a payphone 2.25. So introducing the flyer. <laughs> yeah. But does that yeah. imply that yeah. Elg was dead already? Yes. Yes it does. Oh my. Oh boy.
he wait, was in the. They... So wait, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna assume here. The body was already dead, probably in the kitchen because Armstrong's hands were tied, and that's probably why the ear medicine was there, right? Yeah. So they faked a death after he died to yeah, get him they... out, and the and the switch the bodies around. They basically staged a um. Uh, they they staged a, a recreation of what they wanted to, to have Kudo see. That would so, that would make sense why there was a there was a theatrics in the diner. That would make more sense to me. Yes. Oh, I think it'd be a lot easier just to have the chef haul his ass into like a trunk. Well, because uh. remember, the ear medicine was in the kitchen. It was on the floor. He his body had to have been in the kitchen. That's why the medication wasn't in there. If he they just asked me nicely, I would have turned him into sausage. Oh, okay, everything's starting to click now. I feel you it. See? I told you it wasn't stupid. Yeah, but, but, but the thing is, at the time, I wouldn't have said that it was a phony. I think after this testimony, I would have started believing it. Does that perhaps jog your memory, witness? I think it's a little... This, this case a little weird. Phony is a strong word. The no. incident happened about 20 no. minutes after he arrived. 20 minutes after he arrived. So that was 2 no. o'clock. So, so that's still past the, the window that the lottery actually happened. So to be clear about something, um, the, the victim was already dead before the lottery was called out, right? No. No. The actuality is that the lottery happened as it did. And then... Like the victim died, but what they're doing is that they're staging a recreation of it to the point, except of who did the poisoning, to make it believe as if. Because the, the reason that they're saying between 1:30 and 2:30 was that because Kudo had to take five minutes to find a payphone, it took five minutes, and the call was report, and the, and the death was reported by Kudo at 2:25. Even though autopsy stated it was around 1.30, so... 1.30 is when the ticket was being called. So it had to have been a little after 1.30. Yeah. I feel. Because if they were recreating the incident, Kudo had to have come after he died. Yeah. He was already dead. Mm -hmm. So it had to have been sometime after 1.30 he did die. That's... Oh, just imagine going to that fucking diner and you didn't even know there was a fucking dead body hidden in all that. I love Sweeney Talk. <laughs> <laughs> so the victim was alive. There you go. There, there it is. Okay. Yeah, no, there's no fucking way. Obviously, <laughs> there's no fucking way that that's possible. Yeah. Uh, the lottery is just a little late. A little late. No. Ten minutes. So it's between 1.30 and 1.40 they announced the ticket winner. Listen, the DJ was just a little sleepy. Oh. The pork on the menu is a pork cap. <laughs> Thank you for the helping joke on my memory, <laughs> You're wonderful. Add it to the fucking testimony. <laughs> I can't sit here all day and do nothing now, can I? But you already do. Yes, there we go! Yes, Queen. The, the time of day will be added to the witness's testimony. Slay, Queen! Oh, Monsieur Judge, everything I do, I do it for you. You see up here. Friends, isn't it? <laughs> he is very much enjoying himself. I'm glad at least one person is in a good mood. He's even humming a song to himself. I remember the old man arrived. There we go. Go Mambo! Go Mambo! Now, now he did say... T Wait a minute. When did... When did he yeah. say in that testimony? Huh. 20 huh. minutes huh. what? The incident 20 minutes... The incident occurred 20 minutes after he arrived. So, it, it is 2 o'clock. It would be 2 o'clock when he arrived. Should we... You know what? I'm just gonna press this first. Usually something happens too. Are you absolutely sure about the time? 
Oh, I think really hard. Uh, I am sure it was just after two uh, weeks. It is the time I stopped serving at lunch menu. After two. Quite right. I was break for lunch with restaurants for serving this special. Oh, God. I've been known to wind up a, a case early just to make it on time. Oh, ah. my God. Oh, I've oh, tried that a few times here, and it hasn't worked. I guess you should never get between a hungry judge and his lunch. Oh, will no. you look at that? It's almost lunchtime already. No, you're not me. Witness, get on with your place. testimony. He has a right. Well, the judge did say he would fish at me at the jail cell. <laughs> Stop! I'm still incarcerated, by the way. They haven't put me up for execution yet. I don't know so. why. I would, since it is, I would say the the flyer, because that is the central point. Yes, and the okay. Only thing with the time stamp that sounded really wrong to me for some reason, but I knew where I was going with it. Yeah, because it's the central point. It's like the standout thing of this dramatization is yeah. him screaming about the lottery, so. I'm afraid I finally got you, Mr. Armstrong. Declare? Well, what do you mean? <laughs> <At the t> <laughs> He's, he retreated into his little shell. <laughs> At the time in question, the victim was listening to the radio with his earpiece. The show he was listening to was Millionaire Radio. Each week, they announced the winning numbers on the half-million-dollar lottery ticket. Oh, yes, that must be La Jambe, huh? Eric was listening to. I can't see any problem with this testimony, Miss Wright. I wonder. Hmm? You say the victim arrived at your restaurant after two, correct? Oui, oui, I am sure it is. I remember it perfectly now. <sighs> and it was at that time, because I had just finished serving the lunch menu. Well, point right if you have one. I don't. That show is broadcast live at 1.30 p.m. And it claims to be, quote, the most thrilling 10 minutes of your life. It's on air at 1.30? Oui. Now, supposedly, the victim made some noise when it was announced that he had won. And yet, I don't believe his cry of joy could have occurred after two. Because the show had already finished more than 30 minutes earlier by that point in time. No! This victim we've been told about has done nothing but, be Im but the impossible. Listening to the radio with a ruptured eardrum, catching a show that was already over. There's only one conclusion you can draw from these facts. The victim was an imposter, acting out the poisoning 30 minutes after the real murder. No one played the imposter theme. Yes, there were two Glen Elgs in Trabian that day. The real Glen Elg, now dead, having been poisoned by the real killer, and the phony Glen Elg acting out the events for Mr. Kudo to witness. So he acted he out. Seems that way. So yep. He was acting out the excitement as well. Yep. Yep. Oh. I mean, if it wasn't the case, how would it explain the time discrepancy? <laughs> Quite the performance, Kaiser. You look almost on a roll. Huh? But sadly, you lack the rock hard foundation of the, of the rhythm to build the, the song. Oh. What is this? Music Theory 101? Yes. Let's recap according to it. Imagine if the way it's now just after 2 p.m. According to But it's after 11.30. The phony elg is performing for place to benefit the Mr. Kudo. Yes. Hmm. How do you explain then where the real gun egg is? He was in he was oh, he was hidden in the freezer. He was in the kitchen. I don't believe I have to spell this out for the court. However, at that time the real Glen Elg was already dead. Oh. Exactly the obvious conclusion. Thank you, right? Exactly what I was hoping would say. What? Now, Virginia can prove this theory of yours. 
you explain where to the where the missing corpse went to? The the missing corpse? According to the old man this morning, there's only one other customer there. That customer was the funny to that elf. Then where did the real killer hide the body of the victim? Of the real victim? Yeah, the real killer. Uh, oh no. In the kitchen! The prosecution has a valid point, Mr. Iron. Because that's where his ear medication was. If your theory is to stand up to examination by the court, you must provide us with a proof by answering the prosecution's question. Where did the killer hide the body? Yes, Your Honor. No conjecture, right? Let's get some facts for once. Look what the piece of evidence that proves the body was hidden. Good thing I just got it today, huh? Yeah, right. What's with the intense pressure in here all of a sudden? I thought I had him with that contradiction. But he's turned it all around and backed me into a corner instead. Finally, I know something before Phoenix do. Well, I just Mr. Have Wright, to turn about. the <laughs> court will now hear the defense's theory and dividend. First, was where was the body of the real Mr. L concealed? Inside, Inside Trivia. It would have been too dangerous to take the body out. Obviously, the, pork... the body must have been hidden somewhere inside Trabian. The bla blaze says the pork on the menu isn't pork. Yeah. It's really, yeah. But where could a body have been hidden inside a restaurant? Perhaps you would care to show the court on these plans, Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. The exact location where the body was concealed inside Trebian is... Kitchen! La Kitchen! Wow. The body was hidden here. Hmm, I see. Nice supposition. The real question is, can you back it up? Yes. Argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with the source? The source is I made the fuck up! Here Where's the evidence that proves the body was in that location? Yeah. Good thing we got this fucking shit today. Do you recognize this bottle, Armstrong? No! No, 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 no! I've never seen that ugly bottle before in my life! I only use the very best bottles, monsieur! <laughs> the highest quality only for me! Wow. Where was that bottle found, Miss Ryan? Interestingly enough, Your Honor, it was found in the kitchen of Trey Bien. Oh. Quick! That's funny! But I only ever use the bottles from aromatherapy oils. But this bottle doesn't contain aromatherapy oil, Armstrong. No, it contains a medication. Uh oh. What kind of medication? I'm sure everyone remembers, don't they? That Mr. Elk visited an. Oh. Ear doctor clinic and was given medication that day. Oh, I, I, I don't feel like looking that up and listening to it. You can't be The defense had the contents of the bottle analyzed, and I have the lab results here. The contents of the bottle matched the prescription that was given to Mr. Elg. Glenn Elg's murderer hid the body in the restaurant kitchen, at which time this bottle fell out of the victim's pocket. Mr. Armstrong, when the incident occurred, didn't you say you were in the kitchen? <laughs> yes, you know what I'm talking what I'm about to say. It was you who hid the victim's body. You did a fine job pretending to defend my client, Maggie Bird. However, you were setting her up to take the fall behind the poor girl's back. No! Order! Order! This is an extraordinary development! That's ice cream? What? Wait, uh, what? What are you looking at? What are you- What? what? No! Not fried chicken ice cream. No, wait, what's the breading No! Then? No! No, what is this? Is that what? actually breading? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reading the- Okay. Waffle ice cream, chocolate cookie bone, caramelized oh. white chocolate cornflakes. Oh, that actually sounds dope, though. That yeah. does- That does look dope. That's actually dope. Knowing what's what it's made of is important. Yeah, that's why I'm that like, I have to, I have to make sure that it's not actually, like, typical breading. Cause that'd be weird. It tastes bad. Witness, did did you 
did you murder Mr. Clean Eld? No! I could never do such a horrible thing! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! No! That was good though. Oh. 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 Mr. Gado! The bitterness. In Every time I get to lie to, I always down a mug of coffee. I guess you're having what? more than 17 cups this time, huh, Gado? That's hot. I'm thinking like maybe like 25. One of my maybe. rules. Wait, what? <laughs> Remember, he's on day two <laughs> of this case. <laughs> what a. Hey, it's, 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 a, it's a per trial. It's a per trial. Thing. How long has he been a prosecutor for? A couple months? His, his first case was uh, the, the one previous, so... Wasn't it the first? Yes. Yeah. No, the second right. case. Yeah. Do you have the slightest idea how many cups you've had by now? I'm built different. I'm built different? I know Godot's poor heart, right? And I like to do the same to the person. And I like to do the same to the person who lied to me. Oh. I like to take them down with my empty. Wait, what do you mean by take them? Down? I will beat you to death with this coffee cup. I swear to God. Uh, yeah, he's referring to he's referring to Armstrong. Listen up, chat. How about a brand new flavor near my H deficient friend? H? Like honestly? Show mom the my father. Please, must hear me. <laughs> Oh my god! Because of his, because of his accent. It is Trump! Listen oh. to me! Por favor! Por oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my blood is red! You me, Rob Strong, and por favor is bad. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, yes, the, 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 the linguistic over here, Mr. Arthur, Mr. The Judge. Honestly, honestly, Spanish. he's not wrong. <laughs> I know my Spanish. Un chili con queso, por favor. Stop it! I'm only gonna ask you once. Did you do it? What did you do it though? No! No, 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 no! Absolutely no! Good dot's poor heart. Absolutely! I. Let's hear it. Oh shit, a rat! Oh shit, a rat! You've got one <laughs> Right, Gramps? Gramps! Whitney! Uh, Gramps! Huh? The court will permit you the chance to make one final statement! Uh oh. Never mind. We'll, we'll never know. If you lie under oath again, Mr. Godot's coffee mug awaits you. Oh my god! I permit the violence in the court. As does my gavel! <sighs> I will also commit a violence. It is clear. And so will the whole audience of the courtroom. <laughs> what do they always say in the movies? I've got a bad feeling about this. i got a bad feeling about this. Anyway. Begin your final testimony, Mr. Armstrong. Mm. You're not Mr. Armstrong, are you, Kitty Cat? I was just asking for your testimony. <laughs> now you must rename the cat to Mr. Armstrong. No. <laughs> okay. It is true. I hid the body in the kitchen. A man forced me to do it. I'm a child. Oh, is that so? I had to go along with him because there was. Reason that I could not refuse. But I did not kill him! I swear it! You must believe me! Do I smell a Segway? You were forced? By who? I cannot say, or I will be erased! Let's try a different question then. When Mr. Og died, was he really the only person at his table? Huh? Ah! Uh, was another man. And there we fucking go. Now it we got Maggie's right. testimony no. going in. There we go. I knew it. Maggie was telling the truth. Well, no shit, Maya. Come on. You cross-examine the witness now, Mister. There's just one more thing I need to do. I gotta break this guy and get him to tell us the name of the real killer. Now, I don't feel like I need to push anything because I think I know what I have to press. Yeah. Uh, man, forced me to do it. I go along with him because there was a reason. 
Not what I meant to do. I keep doing what? that. Flavor. Okay. And what reason would that be, Mr. Armstrong? Hello, monsieur. Yes. Surely you cannot expect a young maiden to talk about such an embarrassment. A, a maiden? You're a bit old to get away with that. And a bit too male. I can't finish the cross-examination without establishing his reason. So I'll just have to prove it with... Okay, yeah. Uh, ba -ba 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 present... Present the... Debt. From Tenderlanda. And there's the segue. You have half a mil dollar debt, don't you? Half a million dollars? Is that true, Mr. Armstrong? Where's your fault, Miss Alley? I was feet of a bird in Lamadi. This is Mr. Armstrong's Achilles heel. And that's why you couldn't refuse anything asked if. Just we're going in oh, deep. We, get the throw we, get the... we are we are letting the tiger out of the cage. We're gonna put him back in the cage. And the cage is closed. A half mil dollar loan from a black market loan shark, and you had no way of paying it back, did you? That's why you were forced to do anything this man told you, you to do. Don't fuck with loan sharks, like really, you just don't fuck with them. It is as you say. Mr. Armstrong. For shame. Tiger. He told me it was going to use my restaurant for a business rendezvous. On the day on question, he was meeting a victim demand a repair his loan. I don't know why it happens like that. I just did what they told me to do. I had no choice. I carried the body and not in this incons inconscient maga out of the dining area. And into the kitchen. After that, I just tried to forget what so, I had seen. You're going to jail because that's like... Yeah, yeah I know. He ate it in a bed of the criminal. I know. Yeah. I think we can now safely say that the man who forced your hand was Mr. Fuhrer... F Furio Tigre. I don't know why I had a hard time. I think I had like a little Furio. mini stroke there. I'm sorry. Hmm. I do have one further question for you, Mr. Armstrong. The poison of the lottery ticket that were found in the defender's hey, apron he's, pocket. He's an accessory after the fact. Yes. What was was that you're doing as well? No! I know nothing about that! Make it look like it was Maggie who had done it. I was not! I was not! It is despicable! Mr. Kato! You will summon this Furio Tigre as a witness! I doubt this can be arranged today, so we will adjourn for now! What? What? Uh, I mean... Proceedings will continue tomorrow! No, fuck off. No. You fucking kidding me, Godot, bro? Godot, you will fix this right the fuck now. There you go. There we go. He's just smelling his coffee. I love Godot. Let's fucking go. What? But my lunch special. Freight? The trial will go on. I'll see to it myself. Oh. I need a half an hour to get that gun. Not, not a minute to more. Get, how the... Don't sit back and relax yet, right? No one, no one knows if that chef is really telling the truth or not. The child could still go either way. Very well. Your request is granted, Mr. Godot. We will resume once Mr. Tigre is ready to take the stand. Until then... Court is adjourned for a 30 minute recess. No. I guess I have a question I'm... for you boys. I'm tired. We can finish this now. Or we can do it next week. 
How long would it take? Uh, to catch that's a now? good question. How long is the rest of this next trial? Day? Ask Captain Hunter McFallentine. Hunter. I'm basically, I'm Hunter beating McFallentine. up Salmonids. Uh, hmm. Um, I don't know. We're probably at least looking like another hour. Yeah. If this is like the big finale, it'd probably be like another hour at least. I'd That's say. We finish it next week because that way we can also start the next case. You know what? Actually, for once, I'm agreeing with Magrana. Yeah, because I know that's... I know what that next case is. Oh, uh, is it a is it a honky one? Is it a big old honking one? It's, I don't. It's a, it's a, I don't it's a think wacky. so. Yeah, I, I I think I remember what it was, but I think it was only a one day case. Yeah, it's but it's, it was uh... a oh, fucked okay. up one day case. Yes. Well, that so, makes sense then, so, and then, actually. So in that case, we could finish that case, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. If it's a one-day case, we could... Yeah, okay, so we'll just finish up this one and the next case in one day. Okay. That's what I... I that's. That I just figured out. I ask. Because it was up to you, boys. And uh, also, good I mean, news... ultimately, it's up to you. I mean, it's just some people might fall asleep. It's just... Whatever you want to do. Some people may fall asleep, sweetie. Phantom. Yeah, he probably already was falling asleep for all mm -hmm. I know. Shut the fuck up. Yep, the answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> Exposed. So we will finish this next week and possibly finish the next case. Because I think I remember what one that was. Oh, there you go. Knock out two cases in one day. That's not bad. Yeah, but trial five. Yeah, be a record. The fifth trial is going to be the, long, the second yeah, longest the fucking trial. case the in this trilogy. Probably fifth. take a week or two. No, the fifth <laughs> case... Yeah, the fifth case is mm -hmm. pretty long. Mm -hmm. It is. Take a week or two of straight streaming. It is the final case of the <laughs> trilogy. Yeah, it's always the big. Yep. Shabang. There you go. Speed runners, I go. No, <laughs> but there's good news in all of this now. Eh? I streamed without the internet dying. Hey! Yeah. What did it take? It took me to get it off the outlet and putting it in the surge protector and then testing it all day with 14 in the background with two streams going on while I was closing the pool up and cleaning the room and helping mom with cleaning the basement because the kids made a fucking mess out of it. It's going. Yeah. You should get like something to whack those kids every time they make a mess. Well, they're not allowed to have food down here anymore because we have to vacuum. There's a lot of fucking food debris on the on the rug. Jesus Christ, what the fuck did you do? Like, just all well, over the face? <laughs> well, because they eat like heathens. And my mom said, if you're going to eat downstairs, you're going to use the vacuum to clean up your mess. Well, they didn't. So now they, they're they not allowed to eat down there. But they also lost a lot of shit down here. So that's yeah, why mom like had to buy another Roku set, which is in my room. And cause, uh, because uh, one of the kids lost the adapter to the Roku, which is a newer well, version of the Roku. Uh, so, uh, yeah. That's so, that's nice. they're not allowed to do a lot of shit down here. Much what if anymore. you bought them, like, some, like, nice wristbands that were actually shock collars made for kids? <laughs> What, n nobody would be upset. Oh no, right now I, I have a lot of neighbor concern, okay? <laughs> Yesterday was a fucking disaster for me. <sighs> I swear to god, I think I think like my three neighbor like mom and my next door neighbor and the neighbor across the street that's living with us now. I think we just need just just some nurse to come in every fucking day to take care of them. I swear to god. I yeah, just because it's there's, is it like you know? Every time I envision your nosy neighbor, I just envision them with a literal no long. Yeah, because long the, ago. because just... the neighbor who moved into her house next door, she had to go to the hospital. Oh, is that so? And it Can was I see and it the was hospital. And it was really bad because uh, she got an infection in her colon, so they had to do surgery and all that shit. Well, well, the nosy neighbor who originally lived in that house stayed over there. And uh, she came over Friday morning to help herself to fucking coffee at six six o'clock in the fucking morning and woke everybody Bruh. the fuck up. Bruh, oh, this wow. isn't your fucking house, freeloading hussy. And and then, but like, that's that's uh, not. And then like we have another neighbor who lives at the corner house who helps, who I guess quotations helps with the neighbor that's living with us get the mail and shit. His 
my the neighbor who's living here his family came over and the, that neighbor fucking came when the family was there and he knew that that was his family and he came in and just like invited himself in with everything with the conversation I was like this is a community fucking uh. day Friday that's why I was so fucking miserable yesterday it was either Thursday or Friday it was I was so fucking miserable about it I was like what the fuck and then the neighbor is coming home from the hospital, oh, and the nosy neighbor says that she's going to be here all that week. This and guy. she wants the neighbor's daughter to leave so she can take the daughter's room for herself to stay there. What, what a up? bitch. It's going to be a fun couple months, boys. That's why I had a hard time streaming for the last couple days. <laughs> Y'all didn't know the full context, the but that's the full context, okay? Between taking care of my mom, taking care of the neighbor living with us, dealing with the nosy neighbor, and dealing with the other neighbor that mom had to go visit her in the hospital for, it was pretty fucked up this week. It's It's been a fucking nightmare the last, like, four days. It's been hella, hella nuts. I'm sorry, dear. Uh, well, that's the life I'm living in. We're living in a community home, Phantom, didn't you know? All neighbors welcome. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ugh, that's why it's been fucking hard. And then my internet died twice last night, and I told Vicious to tell the chat I, I can't do it right now. But we've been live for about five hours, and it hasn't died, so that's my only victory I got today. What? No, actually, two victories. Aww. One, I'm able to stream finally, because I don't have to do any fucking thing for nobody. And then two. The, the, the Wi-Fi lasted long enough for me to stream. So oh, there we oh, go. Whoa. Two victories today. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and I, I think I'm almost done paying uh, a person off. So happy, happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy? Yeah. That was to say. You're almost square. No, Tigray! Just a few more payments. Scott, what the fuck is it? You gotta pay me, oh. too! I have to and pay I'll everybody. Pay. And you gotta pay me too, old bag. Oh my god, I'm using the same voice for both of them, aren't I? Look, guy, the only thing you have to do finish. is play the Resident Evil board game with me. You <laughs> still owe me a it's no bad. You know what? What's up? Man, things are <laughs> slowly what? looking up and down <laughs> for, the next, up? for the next month and or two. That, what was that, Kyle? Kyle oh, Landwalker! So sweaty. So, next week, I'm tr gonna try... And finish Digimon Survive. I don't. I don't want. I'm, I'm gonna try and do that without having anybody tell me how to do shit to, this week, because I had then, to do a lot of shit for people this week. And then once you finish that, and or either decide or not decide to do a shooting thing, not uh, immediately, obviously, you can then watch Matt McMuscles. What happened for Digimon Survive? I watched it already. Oh no! It was everything I said, so it didn't really matter. Uh, I, mean, I, I mean, okay, okay, so I know everybody's like, oh, this is bad. It's not a bad thing. Like, It's not like, oh my god, the game bombed. What happened? Look, sort of look, thing. the people exactly. was mad because when they advertised it was a visual novel and it was more story-based, people got upset that they bought a visual novel. But it was advertised as a visual novel, so it, it got bombed. It was advertised as a visual novel. Everybody knew it was a visual novel going in, but then you know how people are on the internet, they're fucking morons. <laughs> how dare this thing not be what I expected it to be when I bought it. You know, For the record, when it I didn't even sell 100,000 copies. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. How much was development? It, it depends. Oh. It depends on how you count it, because remember, they switched companies. They switch companies had to re basically almost start from scratch. It was announced, I believe the video said, in 2017. <laughs> My favorite thing was the, uh, the the uh, the people they got to work on the game. Their big cl claim to fame was their Tinkerbell game. I was looking All it up. Right. They did a, they did quite a few things that I that well, I, was I like, know of. Because but... I, I was interested because apparently the the first developers they had did one did uh, one of the common writer games on the 3DS. I was like, oh shit, okay. So so let me put it in perspective, uh, people. The the Digimon Survive game didn't even sell a hundred thousand copies. The Cyber Sleuth games totally knocked that out of the park with selling one point five million copies. Well then. 
type. So what I'm hearing is there will probably not be a Digimon Survive 2. Uh, no. I don't think there's going to be anything else like this. That is I don't think, but I'm pretty sure they'll probably still try to experiment with other... They always experiment with Digimon games. There, There is only... <sighs> It, it's it's really they did hard. The best one, they're doing the let's just say Cyber Sleuth is still probably the best the best two games they've put out because they're just SMT. I wanna I wanna stress about Digimon games. They are hard to recommend to anybody. The yeah. only literal games that I can recommend for people who just want to dip their toes in Digimon is the Cyber Sleuth games because they are way nicer than the DS games, way nicer than the PlayStation I, series. It they're just way nicer to play. They they also seem yeah, they're, far they're, more comprehensible than anything else in the series. For, 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 I played the DS, I I I I played Dusk, Digimon Dusk. Yeah, it, it is a grind fest. Like you think grinding and like other games are bad. No, no, no. You have no idea the amount of shit you have to grind in that game. Here, here's a metric. Is it the sky levels of grinding? Well, okay. Up. Let me, oh, God. Hunter. You will be the one to judge because you were there at the time. Do you remember the platinum cup in Dusk when I played it, and that Five baby minutes. trounced me against Mega Digimon that I worked off screen and did you did evolved and did evolved and D did evolve and did evolve. Let me put it to you this way: I had to do more of D did evolution and evolution to still have that happen to make Five it better. Minutes. Five minutes and uh yeah there's a lot of grinding in, in 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 the digimon games there's no out of that but i can honestly say from all the digimon games that i've played the best games to get into is the cyber sooth games because they're if you want an rbg based game that's it if you want a digimon world experience play next order that is so much nicer than the other world games Way fucking nicer. But yeah. Hello, Taz. So, if you want a world experience, please play Next Order. If you want, if you want an RPG to... experience, play play Cyber Sleuth. Those are literally the only games I could recommend in Digimon. That's I remember trying it. to play this guy before even knowing about this guy, and that was the biggest kick in the nuts ever. When you find ah, out big how much same lol. I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. I love strategy RPG. Oh, I guess tried... what? You know what the max level is? <laughs> 9,999. 9, 9, yeah, and even then, you think you're overpowered? You're fucking not. No, that's... <laughs> Bosses you... will obliterate you. <laughs> that's some bullshit. That's, yeah. that's how this guy just felt like that. Yeah, that's... If you want a anyway. world experience, go outside. <laughs> Fight a bear. No, 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 Chaz, you just have to touch grass. Touch grass? That's even hard to do. Apparently for a lot of people it I, is. They get offended when they when, when you tell them to touch grass. So yes, it is but very hard for some people nice. to do. What? Have you actually touched grass? You know my favorite thing? is when you go on Twitter and you see like a 13-year-old trying to shove his awful opinion down people's throats. That is hilarious. It's like, right. shouldn't you, you know, not be on the internet like this? Telling people what they should and shouldn't it's, it's, like? Tell lies? Go on the internet and tell lies? <laughs> I touch I grass, big, fact... delicious, soft grass. Great. I, I yeah, always, that's always something I found annoying. Where it's like, I, where you like a thing and people are like, no, you're not allowed to like that thing because of some arbitrary reason. It's like, but what? <laughs> yeah, welcome to Twitter. <sighs> people will always find a way to hate something you like. They will always find a way. Oh, that's what... Okay. That's why you don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so next week we are going to finish this case and start and maybe oh. finish case four. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm not even gonna assume that we're gonna finish case four. Oh, no. Uh, but... As far as next week is concerned, my priority will be Digimon Survive, and if I have time to stream, which I'm hoping, I will do it Tuesday. There you go. Because Monday, I offended. <laughs> <laughs> Monday we're gonna just probably start at like 
maybe 7, 7.30 because of the raid static, and we're going to try that again. Oh, boy. It, I, I have to try. There's, it, it's, if, if my internet Ooh. dies oh, cool. once or twice... No, I'm not worried about that. Huh. I'm worried about your exhaustion after doing a full day stream. What do you know? I don't mean in the morning. Oh, God. I'm just scared. Last time I did that, I fucking couldn't work. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I was about having a fit. Yeah, because raids right. at 8. All right. All right. Because I'm like, 7 no, in the morning. Are months? you okay, girl? No. I'm. Well, no, I'm not okay, but... No, I'm not. Well, no. The daddy hunter. <laughs> no, 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 no. You are fucking crazy. No. Because uh, I want to see if I can work on stuff tomorrow and Monday. Because I, I do want to stream Splatoon, but I do want to get Digimon Survive done. Yeah. Hunter is Sky ever okay? No. <laughs> just, I can answer that for you. No. I'm always a fucking mess between streaming and taking care of people. No, absolutely not. But thank you guys for coming out. I do appreciate it. I'll see y'all next yeah, week. We're going to try Digimon surviving it up and hopefully finish oh, it next yeah. week. And Saturday we'll finish this case. I was hoping to finish it today, but if we streamed a little earlier, that would have worked out. But I was busy. It happened. Being the housemaid. So uh, we'll finish it next week. And uh, we'll we'll try and finish Not... the, the fourth case. So I will see everybody. Not... Next right. week. Guy is apparently the Cinderella of her family, but like the part one of it. They treat her like garbage. Uh, no, they don't. If that were the case, I would have been kicked out by now. So I will see everybody next week. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe, and I'll see y'all Monday night for Raid. And then Tuesday, oh. hopefully, for Digimon Survive. So I'll see y'all later. Monday night Raid! Yes. Bye -bye. Good night, everyone. Monday, Monday, Monday.